Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Good morning, good afternoon. Hi. Um um we're back again with some stardew, but um I will be honest I was planning to do Zelda, but then I sort of sat down and just felt like doing more stardew really. I just wanna do a bit more stuff around. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna see about getting Captured, or it may be insta capture. So, oh. okay, uh, is it window capture? Oh, so, there we go, much better. Right, what I'll do is we will load in now. Um, I started doing like the sorting of the chests and whatnot out, and then it just became a thing of some of it needs to be sold some of it needs to be sorted type of thing so that's what we're gonna do essentially um yeah we're gonna do a bit of that obviously it's probably gonna be a, maybe a chest at a time and just go from there type of thing but we'll see we've obviously done that bundle for the uh, vineyard in the middle of the cinder sap forest so we'll see what that what that gives us does whatever mm, it's loaded it's loaded oh. okay i assume it will be like an additional farming area that we can do and if that's so we might put some like all year round crops, although I don't think that exists really, but like have a couple of them. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll work through all this and like sort it out and whatnot. So, yeah. Oh, got a wizard visiting me. Good morning, Mountain Matt. I hope I'm not intruding. You kind of are, but that's okay. I had heard from a colleague your farmland was extraordinary. Description barely did it justice. This place is breathtaking. Thanks. I try really hard. Of course, allow me the opportunity to explain why I'm here. I received word from my guild administrator, Gil, that Marlon was looking to contract fight with a combat mage. After reviewing the relevant tasks and missions, I decided to accept. And I must admit, after we met at Mount Calder's Caldera, you piqued my interest. I'd like to get to know you better, but I travel quite often, so at the risk of being a little forward, here's my schedule. We will meet again soon. I'll be taking my leave now. Farewell, Martima. I like how he's giving me his schedule. On. Calder on Outpost, Stardew, Stardew, Ginger Island, Ginger Island, Highlands, Highlands. Okay, I'll put it into the chest to be forgotten, I guess, because I don't really need it. Uh, super meal! Ooh. I think this is the, the stuff we need for the hotel, don't we? How did we do that? Hotel power back up. Oh, we need another 20 copper bars. Oh, I thought it was 30. Bad. Okay, well, we don't need the batteries anymore. Right, what I'll do is for the wheat, I'm gonna keep. Oh, I'm gonna wait for it so all these grow, I think. Although, I mean, we could grow more of it at this point. Although, no, I think I'm gonna keep it so it goes over the next season. At this point, because there's no point. Hello. I'm so sorry that you know you just have, uh, but can I borrow you for the pet? Uh, I guess, yes. Just with the food. Yeah, I'll be right back.
I am so, 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 so sorry, but we're trying to do like a job and whatnot, so yeah. But as I was saying, I'm not going to um, harvest the wheat because otherwise it's just going to go way over into the next season type of thing. I'll leave that as is. I'll deal with the flowers, I think, tomorrow. Oh, okay, I've dealt with the My inventory. Is full. Oops. But yeah, I think I'll sell the quarty stuff. I'll sell the honey. Okay, quarty. I'll sell that as well. I don't think we need spangles for any. But yeah, um. I'll keep the wheat that's grown and whatnot. The few spots that will need hoeing, it's not the biggest problem and whatnot. I might end up moving it anyways, sort of down one type of thing. So right, I'm gonna get rid of this. But yeah, the plan will be to sort of sort everything out. Um inventory wise fairly shortly because there's a lot of inventory a lot of stuff I'm gonna put this ring in um all right we need 20 more copper bars I think that's doable um I'm just gonna take a look. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff here. What I might do as well, because I want to sell this mallet thing. Right. I almost wanted to pet that chicken again. We go. They've got some grass, which is good. I think they're much happier now that they, they've got a bit more grass. I'll deal with the animal stuff on this page. I think that's more than six I think. Right, okay. We'll put that in. Yeah, we're gonna do this today and then I promise we're gonna go back to Zelda tomorrow. Because I do wanna get on with Zelda, but I think it's just that Having fun with Stardew and it's one of those, yeah, it's hard to explain it, I think, at least to me it is, but we be fine, right, this egg goes in here, it's coming with us, and so we'll do this. Now, I do need to keep cloth, purely because we need a mill, and if we need a mill, we need, I think, I want to say 10 cloth. Something like that, so yeah, but I don't think it will be too hard to do it. Got four. There we go. Uh, I think this one is storage. I don't know. This will be the kegs, so this will be the crafty stuff. Although I might end up actually moving it so it's a bit closer to got eight. Need a few more. Oh. But yeah, I think I might end up potentially moving the shed over just so it's a bit. I don't know. All right, it is Malaya's birthday, so we're gonna check what she wants. Northern Limequat or Aurorian Iris? <laughs> well, she's getting the Northern Limequat. being completely honest with you guys. No oh, fiddle head burn, I'll take that. I'm quite is that one, isn't it? Oh. Yep. 
put action engine to We're gonna get her to Malaya, we're gonna give her the stuff. Then we can proceed the rest of our bits. Because we had a I think another eight eight or six bars. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough just now. So. Is I've got two days, so I think tomorrow we should be able to just drop it off and be fine with it. Like, if, if I'm being completely honest, I think it should be fine. Like, I, I don't see why it wouldn't be, if that makes sense. This is fully built. Oh, we got a cutscene. Friend, you completed it. The curse seems to be lifting. Thank you, thank you. I can finally be at peace. Hold on. Well. We seem to have another greenhouse now. Interesting. You managed to save that sort of hole, farmer. The seer was right. You possess an interesting magic. That soul was the old take caretaker of this greenhouse. One day she was the unfortunate victim of a cruel trick played on her by wicked forces. And she and her beloved greenhouse were cursed. I'm glad that she's at peace now. And it's all thanks to you, farmer. Can I use this greenhouse? Well, we don't have any use for this place, so feel free to use it, Marima. No problem. Until next time. I mean, what do we want to plant here? Can I go in? Anything that can like... Bring one rat up by a snake. Her eyes seem to follow you. Okay. Um... Oh, we've got that unlocked then. Um... I guess we can plant stuff in there. I, I need to figure out what we want to plant. Wait, where am I going? You know me would be here, right? Oh. Don't tell me Malaya's in town. Like thing is, it doesn't say that she here, does it? Maya's over. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna go back then. We've got the greenhouse now. We'll just need a few sprinklers and whatnot and it'll be good. <laughs> and I think it's about the same size that our farm greenhouses. So, don't need to worry about that. Because at least it like, at least I know what we can put there, and I guess we could put more fruit trees in as well if we wanted to. I don't know if I want to though. I think instead I wouldn't mind putting like kegs around it so we can automatically process it into wine and stuff. If that makes sense, just to sort of first Haley. Almost got run over by a horse, but. So, there she is. Make sure I've got the right thing. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. No worries. We're five hearts. There's so many books around. Hello, cutie patootie. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm um, just wanting to let you know the delivery will be here for you in four minutes. Okay. Hi everybody. Hello. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have something to eat first. 
Ooh, what you gonna have? Hold on. Something yummy. Something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna shoot. What you're gonna stream? Uh, what are they? Oh, okay, okay. Have that's fun. All, that's all. Oh, I put. I didn't put any real stuff. Okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. Right, okay. What we're gonna do now, though, is I'm going to. Yeah, the spreadsheet off. I'm gonna off. I think ideally. Um, bear with me. Ideally, what I would like to do is have a maybe enough for like five meals at any point, so that when it comes to crafting, we can make five at most sort of thing, and then if that makes sense. I think that makes sense to me at least. So we're gonna try and do that now. Um right. I'm gonna sort it by type and then I think that should hopefully make it a bit easier. So with this it the thing is there's a lot of it which is gonna be the only problem. Uh Fiddlehead fern, we need one, so we should keep five. So we've got this one, we've got six, seven, eight. I'm thinking if we get rid of these two, we can sell them. Also, I'm gonna move that over here. We can sell that, and we've got mountain aragula, and I think we need like crazy amounts of it. We need nine, so all of this stays. Blackberries, I think, again, I think. I mean, it's like 29 or something. We need 24, so they stay. And do we need a spice berry? We're gonna check. Salmon berries, Sierra. No, so spice berry can go. We do need the wild plums, and we need three of them, so that stays. We've got ridge cherry. That's six, so that stays. And then we've got sweet pea. We need sweet pea. No. I'm gonna get rid of golden road. I don't. We need one golden rod. So we've got nicely five. So we're going to keep that. Monk's food's not going to be. And I don't think we need thistle. No. We need cave carrots for sure. Because that is. You know, we need five. So I'll keep the six. Because ideally we would have what? 25 cave carrots. And then we need common mushroom. Uh, wherever that may be. We need three. And we've got two. So that and then daffodil we don't need a daffodil but we do need a dandelion and we need one so we've got three so that's fine i'm gonna put that in and then we've got four leeks and one so just about got that bit And then spring onions. I don't think we need spring onions for anything. Oh, we're going to sell that. And then we've got wild horseradish. And we need one. So we'll keep that. And then we've got winter root. We need one of that. So we've got that. And then we've got that. So that, this just, the forgeable one is somewhat sorted for the time being. I think we might need to get another free hedge just for the hard rolls but got that and then this is crops i'm pretty sure so quickly get those right we need potatoes and we need two so we've got 10 which is fine is parsnips we need two and okay two Again, we need just like ten. Right, that will be fine. Right. So, which parsnip? We've got two potato. We've got two. No, no, we're gonna keep it at ten, just to make it easy. And then we've got blue jazz. We need one green bean. I know we need that as well. We need three. So ideally, we've got fifteen of them. 
Then we've got cauliflower. And that we need one off. So we can keep five on. We need garlic and we need ten. So we need, well, we need two. So we've got ten. Kale, we've got. Strawberry, we need eleven. So I'll just, you know what, no, we'll keep it at that. We need six salad berries, so we've got 12 in here, and we've got another chest in there as well. And then we need hot peppers of six. Six times five is furry, so I'm going to get rid of these ones. And we've got radish. We need ten in here. Red cabbage is times four. Ideally, we got another two in here. We'll keep that. Tomatoes. Um, how many tomatoes we need? Tomato, we need eight. We've got twelve, so they're gonna stay. Blueberry, we need four. We've got that, so I'll take these ones. And I think we need loads of corn. Because we need to convert a bunch of it as well. Apparently we only need two, which seems weird. So I'm just going to... But we can keep ten, because I feel like that's good enough. And then we don't need hops. And do we need grape? I think we do, because there's like a grape thingy. I can see it, which is... Hi, cutie. Good to see you, sugar. You're doing your tea. Yeah. Why? Sponge. Eh. Do we need grape for something? Yeah, what about it? Okay. Who's making me tea? I don't have grape on the list, but I'm pretty sure there is something that needs grape, so I'm going to keep them for now. I'm going to go get rid of the bits. There you go. Um, right, I'm going to put what I can in here. I need two of these in there. Uh, put the tomatoes in there. Take these as well with me. I'm going to sell all stuff. Right, okay. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi Queenie Bee, how are you? We're selling loads of stuff by the way. We can. And sorting out these fridges because there's so much stuff and it needs to get sorted basically. Um I need for tomatoes eight. So oh, they're all going in here. And then there you go. Very good, just working. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Okay, do I need cranberries for anything? Oh, hello. Did you bring me tea? Thank you. That smells nice. What tea is it? Is it a machine one? Maybe. I think it is. It smells like a machine. Thank you. You're the best. I feel that. I'm in the process of sorting my chest again in my Pioneers of All of Town game. Yeah, it's just one of those, like, never-ending things. And my problem is, like, I've got a spreadsheet of what I need to take out, what I need to leave in and whatnot. And it just ends up being so much stuff because, obviously, at the moment, I'm, I've been just putting whatever I need in here. But I've got... Three apples, which is great. I've got three apricots and we need two. But we don't have any bananas. We've got three cherries. We have cherry plout or whatever. Cherry mountain. How do I get cherry plout? I don't have cherry plout. Is it tangelo? That's this. No. Pear. Paradise, Northern Lamb Club, Mountain, Island. Okay, I don't have Desert Tangelo either. 
Ember Bloodline. Who are you? Okay. Right, I've got mango. Um, I've got the mango I need. Mountain Plum Coat. I, apparently I've got it. I've got it. Have it? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so I've got Mountain Plum Coat. I've got Northern Lime Quick because that's that. We've got orange. Paradise Rung Poor. I think that's the orange one, isn't it? Yep. And and I've got six. Perfect. Each I've got three of. Poppy ugly fruit. I've got that. Okay. I don't need pear apparently, so we're gonna oh give me back the poppy. We don't need a pomegranate, which is weird. Do we need pomegranate for anything in this? You know what? I'm gonna take it out. Highland Jostaberry. That I'm convinced we need. You know what? Did I just spell it wrong? Because that could be very much possible. Feels weird that it's not needed. I have finished a community centre and I think we've sorted them in the old Georgia place as well. Mountain plum coat we need and we need these. These can go. Oh, harp. Um, yeah, we've done quite a bit of stuff to be fair. And we need four carp, which we've got. And then... There's also one of those any fish type of thing. Fish any. Oh, well, we need a total of six essentially. So well, that's fine. And then do I need a of that? Okay. So, and then a green algae. I need five. I've got one. And yeah, that's very true because now I don't need to worry about dropping things into however you want to call it essentially so where's honey again i feel like i need honey but i think it's in the crafting bit isn't it maybe oh oh hey it's an artisan and i need four honey I've got two. And I don't think I need wheat, I just need whatever else, so that's fine. I think that's all the bits sorted. Yeah. Ooh. It does make things a bit easier to get rid of, and at this point we're going to have so much money, because, I mean, I could keep majority of this, but at this point I'm not going to be able to work through all of it. If that makes sense like there's no way that i can just like process all of it so i'm i think i'm gonna start selling it sort of thing especially that i'm getting ancient fruit regularly at this point so i might go through and do i need melons for anything because i haven't checked that and i'm pretty sure you need it for pink cake we need two melons so let's grab 10 of these because that wasn't in there uh, cauliflower, that's been... What about pumpkin? Pumpkin we need four of. I'm gonna move these ones in. We've done radish. We've done cauliflower. Uh, we've done these. Do I need coffee bean? I need one coffee bean. Okay. Move five in. There we go. But yeah, I think it's just, I want to get a handle on it because I'm sort of working on collecting the ingredients for craft cooking everything. And it just makes it so much easier to do it when you know exactly what you've got and what you still need. Because we've got stuff here, but that's mostly for like presents and stuff. So I'm not too fast about it. And then this is for the... I expeditions and this is just processing and I'm like there's a lot of stuff to process 
Oh, I've got more in here. Oh my god. I, 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 I assume I don't need to give them anything because it just works. So I'm going to sell these. Today's going to be big money day. Like, there's 10 of them here. That just 10 sweet gem berries. Got mountain aragula and. Oh. I need 9 and I've got another 3, so that will be 5 in total. And ridge cherry, I've got 3 and I'm gonna add 2, so that will be 5 in total. Ta da! Honestly, it's fun. I recommend it. Not really, but there's not a lot of ingredients to go through at this point, so it's not as difficult. And then what I think I might do is I might tidy this up to actually move the bits down because it will be doable. And I can move the trellises down. Makes it a tad easier. I'm also going to bring this back up. There we go. Because what I'm thinking is, if we can move the trellises down, we can move the crops down a little bit as well. Make it a bit neater. As I said, I'll need a few more scarecrows, so I'll need to think of something for that. And then we'll work on the fall crops as well. And then I think as we get the crops and whatnot, it's going to be easier. I just need to figure out the fish side of things. We've got the legendary fish for this season already. So we don't need to worry about that. I do need to do a bunch of fishing though, in, in the sense of getting all the different fish and whatnot for it. might quickly actually go to the adventurers guild and sell that robo mallet or whatever you it's called some of it went in the water they're open till 10 i believe normally i let the little ones keep on growing but i i really want to like sort this area out Because we've got all day tomorrow essentially just to sort of do that. The only thing is we're going to harvest coffee from the coffee plant things. Hello Marlin, I would like to sell you this, thank you very much. What do you have here? Leak, life elixir. I mean I wouldn't mind getting the life elixir I guess. Sure. How are we doing? Because I was going to check the pepper rexes, didn't I? Because we killed a lot of them. We're nearly done with bats. Slimes aren't actually too bad either. Like, we're, we need 138 of them still. Which isn't too bad. We need dust sprites and we need bats. And void spiders, but... Pepper rexes, we need another 13 of them. Like, we're not actually that bad with all these, like, enemies and stuff. We'll just need to go into in the mines a few times over, and I think that might be, I'll be honest, it probably will be something that we focus more during winter time, because we're going to have loads of time at the, on our hands at that point. I think. Might be. But we also want... To, I want to figure out what we put into the greenhouse back at in, at the ridge, at the hike trail. Yeah, these sprinklers I genuinely like because of how easy they are to like set up the trellises around for. I think I can hold this entire place. So what I might do is this will be the trellis area. Because I can't really move it much further down, I don't think. 
but I could probably maybe put something in here and put them down here. That wouldn't be bad, would it? And put the sprinklers literally on that final line here. You know what I'm gonna I know that will mean we probably won't get any of these although it should what they were water today so that should be fine it just won't water them tomorrow so if we were to do that I can place it like so there we go and then leave one space for the air throw Leave one space here. Ta da! So it doesn't really do symmetry, does it? Ta da, of course. Because I, I like it, but I think I might move it by one up to the side here. Here, like that and then do one here then there's a scarecrow that one one two we can do one break and then like that there we go so all of, so these this line here will end up being the trellis crop like that and then you can move everything else up Okay, it's getting late. Right, I'll sort it tomorrow. Um, I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then all the crops will sort of go... Because the trellis ones are the problem because you can't walk through it. But... That, 20 grand. Ooh, 35 grand. Look at that. It was worth spending that 10 grand or whatever on them. Big money day. Shiny indeed. Like, honestly, like, that is so... Like, that, getting that money is satisfying. And I've got a bunch of rare crops. Like, the rare... Is it rare seeds? Yeah. I've got roasted haze on them. Okay. Lock is pleased to announce that a resident musician will be returning tomorrow for the fall and winter season. Lovely. Another one. And it's the Moonlight Jellies. I mean, I'll go in, I guess. It's one of those that everyone loves. Like, I'm not fussed about it, mostly because once you've been once, you know what's going on. I need to harvest these, actually. Okay, and we can still get the hops and whatnot, so... I wonder if I'll have inventory for all this, yeah. Inventory full. We need a poppy for food though. I know that much. We're gonna sell... No, we're gonna make that into tomato sauce or whatever. Uh, right. Because we need a poppy for a poppy seed muffin. From what I remember, so... If you can see where it was watered and everything as well. And then wheat wise, we're gonna sort it tomorrow because it will take zero effort, It'll be very quick. Okay, we can go, go. Okay, I'll, I'll keep the this one mostly because that's the one that has the most of its stats, so. And I need two tomatoes just because if we want to set off five recipes, we need to time that's essentially what we need. All right, tomatoes go in here. I've got a bunch of this stuff again. This is the only problem with my shed being as far as it is, and it's 
probably why what I'll do is I'll look at moving it closer again or getting another shed going. Because it's going to make my life a little bit easier. Right, I'm going to try and keep one for me, Lewis. Come around. So, we can do that. Because then all the males like go to the front and I don't need to re redo the whole line. There we go. Look at that. Oh, mail. I want some mail. I've got mail. Two, four, five, six. So we only need six. Unfortunate. And that's okay. So we do need cheese as well. But I'll sort the cheese a bit later on, I think. Right, I'm gonna grab the horse. We're gonna go to the merchant, see if they've got any rare seeds still. We're also gonna go into the Junimo forest thing and pick up any rare seeds they may have. Because we can then plant it tomorrow. Well, here's sprinkler. I don't really need it. Oh, you've got five. Oh my god. I'm taking all of them. Train is passing through. Oh, what a shame we're gonna miss it. See, if I was in the area, I would go for the train. But if it's literally all the way... By the time you actually get there, the train's gonna be gone. I don't... Oh, there's a teleport there. But I want to see what's going on with the vineyard, actually. Because we got that thing. Yeah. I also want to... Also, we need to drop off the copper bars, actually, on that thing. It looks empty, but the bush is moved in. Oh, there's a basement. I didn't see that before. Is that Apple? I've seen someone play it and I don't know if that's Apple or not. It looks kind of Apple-like. Hi. Apples, spirit friend, give star fruit. Spirit friend, make apples happy. Apples take fruit and use forest magic to decorate new home. This is where you live, apples. Apples here, apples me. Be new friend to apples. Yeah. You tell how cute apples is. Dancing around me. Apples leave soon to go to village. Apples tell all the friends about new home. Apples come back tomorrow. Play with apples before trip. Woo! What a talking apple as a friend, guys. I'm friends with a Junimo. Starting tomorrow, I can talk to apples. But why isn't the vineyard restored? What was that about? Because they, we don't need to restore it. I'm happy with it as it is. I think I need to go up here. There we go, right. I might cheat slightly in a sense 
we do take a screenshot and I may have drawn a path for where I'm needing to go. I don't know where it's at. Should I just save it somewhere random? I did save it. That's not it. I give up. Right. I might not actually do it then, but I know it goes. Okay, and then I need to go all the way through here. I think. this bit. I think I'm lost, right? Hold on, we're going to take a screenshot and actually... Because I, I get lost in this mostly because I can't see it. More than anything else. Right. Over here. I think you need to go through here. Go in here. No, I don't know. We're not wasting time. Because I've got other bits to do. If I'm being completely honest. Like I would like the extra seeds, but I also need to drop off the, the last of copper bars at this point. So that's what we're going to do. Because the hotel power needs to be, be, be backed up. Like at this point, I've taken that quest about three, four times. So it would be good to actually go through with it. Since we're so close. I assume I would get the resources back if I didn't complete the quest, but... There we go. We're gonna stop by, grab copper, and then who knows what next. How many bars do we have here? 14. It should actually be enough, to be fair. But I'm gonna drop this off here. I'm gonna make more copper though. Yeah, we've got precisely exactly enough. At this point. I was drinking my tea. Which is why it took as looked as weird to get onto the horse as it did. I was struggling to. Um, you can go and you can go. I'll tell you. Okay. Hello Pam, how's it going? Bye Pam. I don't know, I'm tempted to get more ancient fruit and just plant it in that greenhouse. Or do something like strawberries or cranberries. Mmm, tea. I should get more. You should. Tea is good. My boyfriend decided to make me some and I think it's the green tea peppermint something tea. It's so good. Just what you need sometimes. There we go. That's a quest on. 15 grand. Woo. Uh, mayor's need. I need to find a mayor, do I? Also, hold on. Whose birthday is it next? Oh, I don't see. Hmm. No. Um, we like schedule a birthday party. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know whose birthday I booked. Was it Zane that was right at the bottom? I think. Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Well, I was looking, but at the same time I wasn't because the thing was moving as fast as it was. And then what I'm thinking is we're gonna just minecart over instead of using a horse. This is gonna be quicker. Although I wouldn't mind commissioning Robin to build another shed for us. So we're gonna do that. Hello Martin. Hi Martin. We're going all over the place today. It's not very like structured the day today, but that's okay. I need wood and I think I need stone so I'm gonna grab a stack half a stack of stone. Yeah that should be sufficient. If not we'll just buy extra right, and I think we'll go up top just to make sure that we make it on time. This because we can just run over um get another shed built and I think we're gonna pop it next to our house again. Because I don't want a huge shed, I think, for the, like, crafting and whatnot. I just want something to contain it all. Hi, Robin. Please build me a shed. I want it somewhere around. To be fair, I wouldn't mind placing it, right, for some reason. Oh, because that bit is paved. I wouldn't mind putting it up here or even, like, here, because there's going to be a side uh, the obelisk, and that will be it. I think it would look nice if there's like a little. Sh I know there was a shed before, but I moved it. I think this would look nice. Like it gives a reason why there's a path and the whatnot. Because I think normally I would put all the like obelisks next to each other, but I don't think I want. To, I don't want to group them this time. Around. I think I want them like speckled around the farm so it like matches wherever it's gonna go or something. I don't know. Hello everyone, hello. Everyone's leaving places now. Okay, we've got the community centre done. We've got the Georgia building purposeful. Right? I sort of like if it like matches or just slots in in a way like it's like oh, why not but I'll have three sheds but I can I mean I'll need to farm a bunch of coal but I wouldn't mind getting one shed to be like preserves and the other one being wine because we're going to be getting a bunch of fruit and whatnot as well and it and like vegetables that I'm not gonna make into juice really. This this is gonna What are we planting in here? Do we wanna just put cranberries in here or something? That is doable. What do we wanna do with this in tomorrow? Tomorrow's gonna be busy as hell though. Because we've got like the farm and then this area to plant. That if we don't plant it right away in here. I'm gonna just go out our house. But look how many beans we've got. I think we've already got two stacks of beans in our chest. We're gonna be having so much coffee. That said, I do want to keep probably about 200 beans just on the side so that when spring hits, we can just plant the coffee and then keep on harvesting it. And what I'll do is with this one, I'm going to do not repeat. Okay, Because then I can just do that. But when spring comes, I can reactivate it. 
Oh, that's perfect. That's going to go into the seed. Like, it's not exact, like, it's a bit much, but at the same time, it won't work. Look, we've got 19 of them. We're going to get so rich. I didn't see Lewis, so his truffle oil is going into the bin. You could always look up which seasonal food makes the most gold as it is, but it probably is cranberries. Probably is, yeah. Thing is, a lot of the time I'm not even like fast about making the most money, but I just that's why sometimes I just I'm like, what do we plan? Like this time I planted coffee because I thought might as well. Because I think it would have been fun. Right. This one goes in here. And then this will be here and i think that covers all of it which will be great because that will be where the grapes are i'm not gonna bother about then once the shed is built what i'll do is i'll move the chests and whatnot to and I'll see about organising it slightly better because at the moment it's a mess. The salad berries will die as well. I'm not too fast about this. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a path. Hopefully nothing spawns on here now. And then... I'll... Like, we won't be able to get to sprinklers, but let's be honest, we don't need to get to the sprinklers, really. And then this path will just sort of mesh in with the rest of this. And then probably I might even see about doing more of... I don't know if we've got enough for the original sprinklers. We we do have berries, we just don't have gold bars, so we're gonna smell that. Yeah, we're gonna move bits around. I've got why do I have coconuts in here? Is my Main question. I mean, we need it for an obelisk, so I'm just gonna keep it. But yeah, I think I'll put just cranberries in there just because it's fun. I could put pumpkins, but I feel like that's a bit. And then what I can do is I can move these down and then organize it slightly better. Oh, someone's here. Hi. Hi. So. Yeah, well, if you want to do it, do it. I will do it. You know what I'm like. I'm I'm happy for you to do whatever. That's about an hour's ride in Yorker. Okay, yeah. Do you know what that is? No, but I know that the trains go there. Yeah. Uh, I was grabbing the trains that went there when I was going to, to Singer, so. Yeah. Oh, look at those. They're pretty. About an hour, 
think that's I think that's doable. Mm -hmm. I mean, depends what the shifts are like as well, but yeah, but I said I have a word about that. And... Me. Uh... All right, that's all. I just wanted to see what you thought. Okie dokie. No worries. There we go. I'm gonna say hello to everyone, I think, because... Like, there's a few that, like, Willy is almost there, so... I like jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'll deal with the beach people, and then I'll deal with the pier people, I think. Yeah, I mean, our farm is not set just yet in terms of being ready for next season, but we can work on it tomorrow, I suppose. I'm gonna check over the bridge to see if there's anyone there. I highly doubt it, but... Oh no, never mind, there are people there. But yeah, like... So pretty. I love watching them every year. Okay. Afraid of large bodies of water. I'll be here on the beach where it's safe. Okay. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? George, you need to calm down. I I don't care how old you are or what you're doing. If it doesn't hurt me, I, I go for it. If it doesn't hurt me or other people, enjoy, don't enjoy. Hello, jelly friends. Overwhelmed with some sort of hypnotic magic. No wonder everyone seems so distracted. Tears in her eyes. Oh, pardon me. This scene just brings back happy memories when everything was a bit different. Okay. I hope my husband's doing alright. Well, we contact him. Harvey is the only one that keeps on crossing the bridge. Also, I like how they, the, how Kay is literally stuck behind Gunther and is like, no, it's okay, I can see everything from here. That's fine. My god, how many people are there? There will be some that we can't speak to, like the, the Georgia employees and whatnot, because they don't come out for this, which is fair, I guess. Yeah, just right being here. You know what I mean? Sure. What are they? Directly into the ocean. Perhaps it explains the Luna Luz. The what? Right, and it's just the uh, peer people. Are they all from the neighbouring town? Um, some are. Um, let's see. These are rich side. These two are rich side. Rich side. Pretty sure. Yeah, rich side. Um, these are rich side. This is rich side. Rich side. Rich side. This is expanded. I'm pretty sure both of them are rich side. These are rich side. All of these are rich side. Rich side. That's Harvey. So that's Maru. So these kids are rich side. And he is. These two are rich side. This is rich side. Rich side. And then on the here, here. I think all of them are rich side. Yeah. So just about a majority of them are from rich side village. There's a few NPCs that came with Expanded, but a lot of these village people here, they're very much rich side. I'm gonna talk to Pierre. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. I will. So the entire population of rich side came to visit, yeah. To be fair, um, rich side is be the mayor of that place is Lenny, who's Lewis's sister, apparently, so... And they are literally... I think Star 
a Pelican Town or whatever you want to call it, help fund a cable car that goes up to Ridside, like they're connected. So I think it's literally like a short cable card ride, so I can see why they are as close with each other. They're literally just very close neighbouring towns, to the point that siblings are running both of them. I'll talk to Lewis in a moment. How are we doing with Lily? We're not doing too bad, but... I just need to give him like a present or two, I think, and we'll be fine. So she's from Rich Side. This is expanded, these two. This is obviously Clint, being creepy as always. That's Elliot. Good evening. Hi. Uh, uh, yes, let, let's launch the boat. But yeah, there are a lot of people. I think when I was doing this initially, when we started, it said... There was that thing about, you know how it's that, introduce yourself to people? I had to introduce myself to 78 people. 78 people, dear. That, I was like, well, that's going to take us a while. And the majority of them come out. Like, the wizard's nowhere to be found. Two of the Georgia employees aren't here. Neither is Morris. I'm pretty sure they still stay in the game, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. We've got jellyfish dance. Should we tell them that they're swimming towards the shore and to stay away? Yeah, 78 people. For someone who's very much an introvert and has social anxiety, that amount of people is like, oh, well, well, and the best part is, obviously we're trying to befriend all of them. We're going to be best friends with 78 people. I don't know if that's like, at that point, just like superficial best friends type of thing. Or if it's like, but at the same time, we don't speak to anyone for days on end on our farm. Like, yes. The glow of summer has faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. I mean, it looked like they were swimming towards the beach. And if that's the case, we know where they're going. But okay. Right, you know what? We're just going to go to sleep. Yeah, it's like... Right. All the gifts would drive me nuts. Yeah, I'd, I'll be honest. I may have done something... Something particular... I can probably show you it, to be fair, um, because I went through and just essentially done a spe I created a spreadsheet because I could not find one that had both expanded and Ridside Village all in one thing alongside whatever. So I may have. Hold on, I can probably move it and uh, show you this. It's a bit much, so um. Can I do this with... Oh, I can. Right. I don't know if it's showing though. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, let's see if I can use this to... There it is. This is the thing. Like, this is the... Like, these are all the, like, characters and what they want. We've got, like, glove gifts and, like, gifts just in case. And that's just for red side. And then we've got expanded which as you can see there's like a fraction of them <laughs> and then i've got the normal ones here just to help me out a little bit just in case i need it and i can just jump up in here and stuff so and i've got this one but um this is what i'm using to keep track of things because it's so much easier like genuinely because of how many bits there are i was just like Let's make it a tad easier for me, in a sense, I can have a little cheat sheet and I'm like, I have a spreadsheet of what I need for the community center with seasons and times for fish and what I need to do to get the, yeah, to be fair, I've got tabs for like fishing and whatnot as well, like, the, or, yeah, honestly, like, I ended up just going through the Wikipedia and 
I mean, I didn't list all the love gifts. Um, sort of thing, just because it ended up being just too much in terms of some have like 10 loved gifts and some have like one. So I was like, let's pick two random ones. Generally speaking, well, not random. I'll, I'll try to go for like some that were probably easier to get, especially as the game got on. Some would have been much easier than others. But yeah. And if you like, I can like uh, share a link to it because I can just upload it onto like OneDrive or something and you can then just edit it as you want sort of thing if you want. But gen genuinely, like I've spent a bunch of time on Wikipedia um, because I had a spreadsheet to track my perfection last time around I played it. So what I've done is I've just added extra tabs for whatnot and I've got a thing to keep like all the ingredients I need for cooking and stuff because it's just so much easier for the, for, at, for the time that you actually genuinely end up using it if that makes sense because there's just so much like I would not be able to keep track of it like my my brain is not capable of that so I'm like there's no point I like doing like a perfection run or something, but I like something to keep me tracking and between that and now the to-do list, I'm absolutely loving it because it just makes my life so much easier. I don't need a pen and paper pad type of thing. I just go and be like, there you go. This has a wheat, doesn't it? We're going to put that because that will all go. Right. What I'm will do though. Is I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm very quick though.
apologies. I am back. Um, yeah, there we go. I've gotten some, um, a little bit. There we go. All right. Just checked on Fox, how he's doing and all that as well. You know, make sure that he is still alive and whatnot. He's having some chicken burgers right now. Which looks nice, but right, we are back into this. But yeah, what I might end up doing, like at the moment, especially it's still something that I'm working on because I'm realizing that there's a few bits missing here and there. Type of situation, so we yeah. but it's definitely like I might put it as a like a sure thing because what I've done as well is I've sort of try to make like jumping between pages a bit easier and what I've also done is with that spreadsheet um because it might be that I don't necessarily want to keep on playing with mods for example every single run have the Stardew expanded in red side on might be that I want to have one mod and see how it plays compared to having both of them on and so on type of thing and I've separated bits into like Stardew Valley expanded and red side all are like individual and then I've got one big sheet for like food stuff and I'll probably do the same with like crafting but we'll see Lovely view. Why do you have to be awkward, Camilla? Behind you, Martima. Thanks for letting me know. Wondering why I'm here, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I mean though, and it and I think it just makes it a bit easier. Oh, red side is fun. It adds a lot of NPCs so far, but and they all have a bit of a, some fun stories as well. I grew a tad bored of Razzie's mage meeting. And I sensed you were here, alone. You stalking me or something? But yeah, red side's fun. I've got a quest line and there's a bunch of riddles and I don't know how to solve them. So I'll probably Google it just to like <laughs> progress with it because I want to like progress it but I don't know how. Go fishing here often? Nope. Why don't I use a little magic to make things more interesting? Excuse me. Nin vini anar anarur an nrima anaria ango angui. There's a lot of A's in there. What you done now? Voila! Happy fish, I have more friends to play with now. Oh. And with that, I make my marvellous departure. Ciao, Martima. What have you done? Sounds like the puppy fish are killing cats. Something is meowing in the water. I have another cat? Why am I out here? Game. I... I wanted to go to Pears. There's a movie fear. Catfish, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. It's Lorenzo's birthday. But I don't know. Oh, it's locked. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to quickly check what Lorenzo's stuff is. Lorenzo isn't dateable. So he wants a ridge Azorian flower or spaghetti. I mean, I can maybe get him spaghetti, but I can't be bothered waiting until whatever's done and then he likes everything universally liked so we'll get a hundred of these i think that will be enough i'm gonna get a pack of 25 of corn mostly because i think i might move them i'll get 25 of these I'll get like 200 of these because they take four days to grow these take 10 days so i'll get a hundred of them and i need a bunch of them there's six sprinklers so that's 150, 144, specifically for the community garden. And then I might, in that case, not plant cranberries on our main farm if we're going to have a huge 
couple of cranberries just growing. Alright, that will be enough. We'll get some I know uh, sunflowers. I don't know why I'm getting this many, but we're getting a bunch of fairy roses because they're good and the honey from them is so good as well. We need amaranth for a bunch of recipes. And then I've got is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times twenty four, I think. So we'll just do that. Got so many. I'm spending a lot of money on seeds, but we can always reuse them and plant them somewhere. Uh, can I get actually one flower? Because I think that's all I need. I need flowering something, don't I, for cooking. Uh, spaghetti. Wheat flour and tomato, yeah. We've got that. So I can cook a spaghetti for Lorenzo and then take it up to him. Very quickly. I like how my horse is here, but I got teleported. All the way back. But yeah, it could have been catfish, to be fair. I think we're gonna ignore animals today though, cause um I need spaghetti. So and then we're gonna sort out our farm. But first Lorenzo, right, where are you? I think you're gonna nope. Woodside. Lorenzo. Lorenzo runs his shop. I'm assuming, yeah, he's at heaps. So we could just get the minecart up, actually. It's gonna be easier. And quicker, really, because I'll drop my horse off here. Uh, north. And then he should be in heaps. Hello, Roland Lorenzo. Yay, we're five hearts. Speed grow, sugar, wheat flour, oil. Okay, so is she out vandalizing at Georgia Mart again? Mamma mia, I won't be surprised if she ever gets in trouble for what she's doing. I mean, there's no Georgia Mart anymore, so I don't think she can do that to be fair. I don't know if he's keeping up with the, the news around town. Pelican Town, right? Well, we've done the, 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 the important bits. Cranberries I'll sort out a bit later, I think, because I want to get these bits sorted first. So, we can. There we go. That should be fine. And then, get that. Perfect. I also want to upgrade my tools to the final level slowly, I think, because there's some that I'm still needing to upgrade. What I'll do actually first is water these. Because it's gonna be easier to water them while I'm standing on these than once <laughs> everything's planted. This is gonna be the fr frustrating crops, really. Right, where are they? Uh, there they are. Aha! Perfect! Look at that. Yeah, I thought it was a bit weird because I had two and I counted 24 is what I would need. Right, okay. I guess I'm moving these down a bit. And I'm gonna break these up as well. I could put a bomb down actually, to be fair. I do that. I'll just pick up the sprinklers and then put a bomb down, I think. Just to get rid of the paths. Because what I'm thinking is we can get like... I don't know, I'll see. Right, there's these ones. So I could find these for like that. And then another patch of four. Like so. So, and then. That 
looks cool. And I think it will look nice once it's all set up. And then I can set one set of flowers in this area and then wherever else. And I can put rare crows a bit more easily around. I think it will line up with these as well, roughly. Not exactly, obviously, but... Also, I want to get rid of these because they have the... I, I, don't, I think it's speed grow. I don't know anymore. But, any case, right. And then that one. One. There we go. There we go. We can need that one. So we're going to get rid of this one. Oh my god, this is going to take up so ages if I'm actually doing it that way. Right, I want to get, what do I want to go here? I will put this here. And on the one next to it, we're going to put wheat, I think. So, and then I think the iridium sprinklers, I'll just leave like, as they are and just plant stuff on them. Maybe. Okay. Like, I'm not too fast about watering it, to be fair. Um, this could be wheat, and then... Because I do want constant supply of wheat slash hay, so I'm going to move these here. Right, what is this? Eight days. Okay, well, these are like going and then like that no that okay so these are good these are 13 and they're basically same as uh, this we've got corn growing so i don't know if but this is going somewhere else and then we've got sunflower eggplant and fairy rose really that's left So we'll see. This is going to be a bit of work. Oh well. I think it will be fine once it's all like, and I don't need to move it about. And I think even if we do get enough for like extra sprinklers, it's like, I want fairy rose on this end, I think. So what I might do... And I want to put another set of wheat on. I wouldn't mind putting extra wheat on because then we can get flour made shortly and then slash keep that for cooking. Uh, keep it for cooking slash sell it a bit. There we go. And then this end will be... I don't know how it's protect if it's protected or not, so I'm gonna need to check that. But I think it should be protected. There we go, and this will be fairy rose because what I'll do is I'll put beehives around on the edge where the horse is at the moment, essentially, and then. There we go, and then I want to just check how this is looking, so these corners aren't protected, but that's fine because we can always do that. Right, and then we're running out of time. I think what I'll do is I will... I don't have enough time just to like move it all down again I think but I might be able to this this let's see I think bombs are in here 
I'll get maybe four bombs. I don't think I need that many, but we'll put one on the intersection here. Okay. That that's not really what I hoped it would happen, but there we go. One time you actually want to place bombs on your farm. Even if it's for a moment. But I think I'll put a sprinkler here. Sprinkler here. And then... Four needs to go. Apparently. Like that, and then we can put seeds in the middle. You know what, if we don't plant, have enough bits right away, that's cool. That corn needs to go. Alright, so do I have an extra bomb? Yes, I do. I'm going to place it right here. Oh no, my... I thought my sprinkler was safe. Well... Uh, but my corn's dead. I'm gonna put speed growing most of it, I think. I do need to go and grab an extra sprinkler in that case. And then I don't think we're gonna have time to plant everything. We can try. Uh, go. I think just. Oh, and, right. Uh, I can get a rhythm with me and then just craft it when I'm out and about. I've got a spread and triple shot espresso. Why am I not using it? I don't know. I think it would have been much faster that way, but. And I need. I think I only need one, but. You know what? We're going to craft it because we're going to either use it here or we're going to use it somewhere else either way. That way, and then that way. Um. Oh my. That's too. Cool. So that goes, that goes, goes. Okay. So that goes. I think that should be enough. Right, there we go. No, I'm gonna put pumpkins in, I think. Oh no. That's not how far I need it. No, no, stop it. I may have made things more difficult for me really that's not it because I know me and I'm gonna accidentally plant something in not the spot that it needs to be in and you know what we're just gonna go to sleep and plant the rest of stuff tomorrow I think that that might be that might be smart what's up you hear a squeaky voice on the other end Hey, you Pope, me sell good hats. Please come and bring coins, Pope. Me like coins. Not interested, though. I need more hats. I've got a copper pan on my head. Ancient fruit jelly. That'd be bad. 1600 for an ancient fruit jelly, guys. Well, no, no, we're not going to sleep. It's Zane's birthday today, apparently. And Penny's birthday. Oh my god, I'm, I'm too busy today. Look at all the quests and bits that I need to do today. Uh, right, okay. God. Hello, Taco, how's it going? 
don't mind me i'm just i just created a mess and now i'm tidying it up which is why it's second of fall and nothing's planted aside from those crops down there I think it's gonna look nice. One, two. It is five by five, isn't it? Yeah, because because I always think of it as twenty-five, and then I take away what I don't need. So these will be good. This is not needed. This is not needed. Is not needed. And this is not needed. Oh. Was... oh, that was needed. Oops. That's not needed. Eating lunch now, so it's going. Oh, what have we got for lunch today? Oh my god, I completely messed that one up. Okay. Let's go. That is typical me. This is why I'm getting rid of some of the areas so that I don't mess up for random reasons. Okay. That. Oh, we got clay, guys. Isn't that exciting? Ooh. And then. Here, here, here. Okay, can you like do this? Please, thank you. I just need to water it, really, and that will be it for it. This, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bits up here, really, but we'll figure that out as we go. I made homemade sweet and sour Chinese style chicken with sesame seeds, garlic, fried broccoli and rice. It sounds so nice. Right, cranberries go somewhere else. So, amaranth's been planted. No, berry seeds have been planted, I believe, here. Yes. Uh, okay. Right, so up here I want to get the tall slash, um, regrowable ones. I'll put another set of sunflowers. Because cranberries are going to go in the other bit. Because of the sheer volume of them. And berries don't get to live on my farm anymore, unfortunately. Uh, okay, and then I'll put pumpkins on here. Yams on here. Artichokes on here. And in these one here. Ooh. My farm is just barely caping by each season, and I see this. I am a disgrace to my farmer's sense. No, it's all good. To be fair, I decided to move it last minute, basically, so <laughs> everything's getting planted a day late. And there's nothing wrong with having like smaller areas and i mean at this point this is year two supposedly but i've played this game too much to for that to be counted as the year two really it's year 20. yeah i did bomb the whole thing yeah i had paths everywhere and i just could not bother just individually picking them up so i just placed bombs i may have lost a sprinkler in the process but you know what? Normally you accidentally place the bombs and you regret your life choices when you do that. In this case, it was deliberate and I have no regrets. Aside from that one sprinkler, but I've got enough resources to let that happen, so.
nothing wrong with that, is there? I just need to get the rare crows sorted, I think, and then I'll be good. Like, but I did bomb the entire farm, that's true. Well, not the entire farm, but I did get rid of corn that was fully grown because it was in the way. But I like this because now I can move all the like seed chests in here and make like a little shrine to seeds or something. You know what I mean? And it's going to be easier to manage it rather than having to go all the way back there. Sort of thing. We've got a spare sprinkler, but that's fine. Right, what rare crows do I have? You're not a rare crow. You're a rare crow. Do I only have two? Hmm. Okay. Well, I can put this one here and that actually covers everything. And then I can put one here. And it's just these two that aren't covered, which I feel bad about. So we're going to craft one. I could have sworn we had more. Wow, that's helpful. Right? Honestly, like, using that... It does the same thing with sprinklers and everything. Which, I, like, might be obsessed about these sort of things at this point. Like, I can just see what needs to be covered. And you know what? I mean, I, at this point, I can't see, but... Ooh, can I, I... I want to place it next... There we go. Look at those! Three siblings just sitting and watching my grapes grow. But I've got one here, but I don't know if it's actually... Oh, it's not doing anything. I could have moved it up there, to, uh, down there, to be fair. But you know what? This one will be somewhere in the middle. How many are are in here, actually? Hold on. I can use that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. And I think this will be the middle. So... Ta-da! This will be our altar, worshipping the scarecrows. For doing the great job that they do. Put a little cute path around here and make it nice and pretty. That said, we, we do have other things to do. So I'm going to forget about making paths for now. We I'm going to keep the certain bits. And I just realised I've got tons of crops around in here. Also, we need to plant these. Right, I'm using this. I think. Um... I'm gonna put it on to the side. I think this will cover it. Don't know if it will. Um, although I could put them in the greenhouse. Or, or I could put it with the cranberries. That's the plan. That is the plan. Right, horse, you're coming with me. What does Lorenzo want? Uh, sp no, not, no, Zane, Zane. Um, what's Zane's desires? Zane, amethyst or dino egg? Well, guess what you're getting? Definitely not the amethyst. No, definitely not the dino egg because I don't have one. <laughs> I don't think I do, at least. Oh, there is sprinklers and rare crows. Oh my god. Amethyst, where is it? You, you've got one here. There we go. But it is. Some mods, you don't realise how helpful they are until you actually start using them. I, I also need something for Penny. What does Penny like? She likes emeralds, don't she? I need, I need it speed grow, but I don't know where it went. Oh, here. Here? Nope. Okay. Uh, it is Zane's birthday. What does Penny like, aside from gemstones? That I can get maybe in town. Does she like spaghetti? Taking the hat. Thank you! Which one? The horse or mine? Right, uh, where's Zane? Who is Zane? You're Anton, you're Hero. Um, Neil, oh. Zane is in here. Is Zane the one next to Sonny? I assume so, okay. So ideally, we just get the thing to east, I think. Yeah. The horse was wearing a hat. Yeah, they are. I literally got the horse and around the same time I found the... Uh... 
what did I get for you? Uh, I, I found a cowboy hat and I was like, you know what? It's meant to be. That's the thing. That's why I don't know who he is because, no, no, it's just so stylish from birth, right? It's just wearing it by default. But no, honestly, I, I got the horse. I named it Zippy. And I think the night before, I was in in the Skull Caverns and I found a cowboy hat. So I still had it in my inventory. And I was like, you know what? Let's name the horse. Let's give it to the horse. Because I'm not going to be wearing it, obviously. Unfortunately, because I, 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 I've got a copper pan head. Just in case I need to sift something, especially if I'm on Ginger Island or something. Happy birthday. Bye. I'm glad you liked it. Right. Um, next point of business, we need to get something for Pip. Right, I know she loves emeralds. Doesn't she like something cooked as well? Uh, Penny, sandfish, yeah, not gonna happen. Um, yeah. I mean, it bursts hard, I think. I, where, I don't know where Zane is. He's gonna be way low, I think. At most, we're gonna have four. We're going to Lorenzo today. Dane, we're at four hearts. So, like, given that we were two before the birthday party, they're handy. We've got rich side book parties when you can. It helps so much. But yeah, I've also got another mod that prevents my fences from decaying. Some of them are on a farm by default, but some of them I may have placed just as part of the creation type of thing, and it's just so much easier, right? I think I'm gonna ignore Penny as much as I want to help her. I, I, I've got cran cranberries. Like it's enough that my this is suffering at this point. <laughs> but yeah, my horse has a cowboy hat and looks much better than than me and my little copper pan hen thing. Right, okay. Yeah, I think I'll put the rare seed in here just because it's going to fit and I don't need to worry about it. Although at that point, I will just keep on growing. And there's no crows around here from what I understand because I don't have any rare crows or scarecrows or anything. Whee! Oh, almost perfect. All right. Cranberry time. Boop, 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 boom, boom. Because that takes 24 days. I think because of my profession, really, but... Oh, one didn't get cut. You can go the hair? What? Uh, with the... I think it's Stardew Expanded, yeah. It, eventually, you get a cut scene with Lewis. I think once you do the community center, actually. And he's like, there's this community garden, uh, but it... It stopped being used and we don't, I don't know what to do with it. You can use it if you want. So now I just put something in here to grow. As a bonus. Yeah, I have that mod, but I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things I think you need to, I think it's community center that you need to do. And then Lewis just gives you a bit of, like you can go there anyways beforehand. It's just that it's not. Like, you can't go into that plot, but you can see it and it's all covered in debris and stuff. It's such a handy little spot that I'm like, mine. I've also restored a different greenhouse and I need to think of what to plant there. If anyone got any ideas, ideally it's something that I don't need to keep on replanting because it's going to be so much easier. Also, this takes seven days, so... Um, community Garden. Oh, I'll do that. Uh, we're going to pop that up here. We're going to change it to Heather Bold and repeat in seven days for now. Because I can put... Oh, can, can I not complete it today? Can I not complete it today? Is it because it's a Heather? Can I do it now? Oh, yeah. Right, okay. I mean, you can get engine fruit, I guess, and uh, can sort out the treehouse today. But yeah, you can 
go there. It also leads you to that sheer water bridge. Um, hold on. Uh, like it leads you to here, so you can go through this. But that's where the community garden bit is, and you can also come through this way and down. And then this is onto Grumpleton Fields and whatnot. But I don't really know what that is for. We've got a bunch of sprinklers here. Why am I here? No, I want to go to the greenhouse. We'll need to sort this out because of this now. But yeah, it's kind of cool that you can sort of do that. Uh, right, where are my seeds? There they are. I can plant these ones as well. Oh. We're getting ancient fruit. Anyone want some ancient fruit? The thing is, you can see the little like blobs of color even in the dark. That said, I might bring in some light in here because it's absolutely pitch black. And I normally don't mind darkness, but. So much ancient fruit at this point. Okay, let's get all these trees. I need to keep specific ones as well because we need them for whatever. That is if we've got them. All right. Uh, Trophy Ugly, Paradise Rank Poor. I think I'm... No, these ones. Ember Bloodlime and Desert Tangelo are the two that we need. I know that much. I'm gonna put them separately. Right. Uh you can go in here. But genuinely, like, there's so much stuff that they add. Oh, purple marsh. Hold on, actually. You take all these because I just don't have enough space for all of them. Um question. Have I crafted the life elixir? Because if not, I do need to get the I have not, so I need to keep a red mushroom, a purple, and boar on the chanterelle. So let's work on that just now. Is <laughs> that's gonna come and bite me in, in the backside when I try and get all the recipe, all the crafting done? Like, I don't have these mushrooms. I guess we're waiting all year to get those ones. Um, we've got a bunch of ancient fruit in here. I'll need to figure out what I'm doing with this to be fair, because there's tons of stuff. Also, life elixir goes in here. Yeah, I use a few bombs and just bom bombed my entire, well, not entire farm, but majority of the farm. And then tomorrow we'll work on, like, making it more pretty and stuff. And I think what I'll do is I may take, I don't think I clicked the ancient fruit and stuff, that is what I've been done. So what I'll do is I'll click it. Worst case is, it's just delayed by one day, it's not going to do much. We made 48 grand and I bet majority of that is just from engine fruit. In fact, all of it is going to be from engine fruit because I didn't sell anything. Right, this will be delayed by one day, but that's fine. It is Richard's birthday. What will Richard like? Right, you can take... Oh no, I, I wanted to put it back in. Uh, fruit wise, is it in here? Nope, is it in here? Yeah, there's a tangelo and blood something something. I'm just gonna quickly jump through. Oh, no, there we go. Is it fruits or trees? Fruits, okay. Apple, apricot, banana, cherry, cherry plow. I don't know what that is or how to get it. Desert Tangelo. We've just dropped it, yep. Uh, Desert Tangelo, we've got. And then Ember Bloodline, we just added. So that should be fine. And then. Yeah, that should be all the fruit trees, I think. The only one we do not have is banana and cherry plow. But, I mean, we don't really have enough. The, the stuff for banana is just... Like, we've barely been... Also, do I need more plums? I think I needed more plums. You know what? I'm just going to pop it in. Right, there we go. Look at that. It's all growing nicely. Right, let's sort out our animals, okay. I think. First off, 
I like that I'm growing a few trees in here. I'm going to need to get a few more saplings around here, though. Because I'm thinking of making like a little orchard in there so that as you go from, come from the top, you can like be like nice and pretty. Okay, what we'll do is we will sell the purple cow milk because we're not going to catch up. Two, four, six. There we go. Like that, and we're gonna sell that because this one we should be able to slowly catch up. I might make another cheese press or two. Um, we should be able to pick, like get on top of things. I'll sell one of these because I'm gonna really try to actually find Mayor Lewis today. Um, hello, I'm back. God, eggs. Uh, you. Mm. I didn't count it, but I, I, I genuinely don't even know how many things we've got in there. Oh, we've got a dino egg. Okay. So, no, we're going to put that in. back in. We need a bunch of wool as well. Well, cloth. This is why I like Automate so much. It does the moving things into machines for me. See, I'm tempted to see about adding it in. Like, just see what I need. But then I'm just sort of worried, like, things like copper orders and whatnot. It's just going to put all of it in there and I'm like I don't really want all of it going but I guess I could separate it and whatnot. Uh okay you can any four pieces of hay into the silo cool. I'm gonna put the remaining hay in here I think. Since it's for the coops and whatnot. Alright so that part is done. What does Richard like? Yeah I'm not like it is something that I've been constantly looking at, I'll be honest. And it it's something that I've been contemplating to get because it does seem like it would resolve my life problems quite a bit. I need a choppy ugly fruit but we only need one for cooking. There are ores or quartz you don't want to find you'll have to keep it. Yeah. But at the same time like I say it just makes life easier because it just moves everything for you instead. And that is something that genuinely I would love to do but At the same time, I'm not too fast. It's just a lot of like individual work as well. Miss chest that I keep for that reason. Yeah, makes sense. I might add it at some point. It's just like I don't mind doing it because sometimes it's just gives you a bit of like busy work. I guess is the best way to describe it. When you're like waiting for bits, you can go around and do them instead of. Is Richard not here? Oh come on, where is he? Oh, I've just been past him. Okay. There's someone. Oh, there he is. Hi. For seven hearts. You remember my birthday? I did not, if I'm being completely honest. But I've got this handy thing that tells me whenever it's someone's birthday. It just literally pops up. Also, let's organise another birthday party, shall we? Now that I'm actually got one bit sorted. Uh, right, who do we want the birthday for? Next is Yuma and Arya. Shall we go with Yuma or Arya? Who are we lower with? I feel like we're low with both of them. Yuma is here with five hearts. I bet Arya is way lower because we don't really talk to the snobbish people. I haven't found her, but I don't know if that's because I just... I'm blind and past her. Yeah, I think I went past her. Oh, yeah. I wish I could search for a specific person with this. Like, if there was a search bar or something. Am I blind or is she not on the list? Demetrius, Willie, Penny, Kate, Pierre, Robin, Aguar, Richard, Ken, Maro, Olga, Lewis, Sam, Marnie, Burr, Victor, Vincent, Emily, Jane, Clint, Sonny, Mullet, Caroline, Agnes, Trini, Susan. Just, I think I saw you pass an area. Isabel. She's probably on here. I just don't see her name. Flora, Anton. There she is. So, so she is the same as Yuma then. Who do we go for? I mean, you are technically lower, so therefore he has lower hearts, so it's Yuma's birthday party. And also, I like Yuma more. 
Uh, Yuma, please. Yeah, I think just a lot of the time I just don't see it. That's the problem. Hi, Burbs. How you doing? I kind of want to plant more star fruit because we've got apples now. And I assume that they love star fruit. Saying that they wanted 200 for a bundle. We're going to go and buy a few star fruit. We can plant it into the greenhouse app and, and on the hike trail. Thing is, I don't think I've got loads of money to just buy all the star fruit. But we'll buy as many as we can, really, and go from there, I think. So all our money is going to go bye-bye. At times, but... Also, I need beads, don't I? I? I've got one of those quests from... Put 10 beats in mega loses. <sighs> and okay. I'll, I'll grow that somewhere. Do we think that's enough? Be back in a bit. Another meeting time. No worries. I'm thinking this will be actually enough to fill that greenhouse. I'll just grab scarecrows from the field on the farm in front of the barns and then... I'll move it up into the thing because at the moment I mean I think the way to our farm on Ginger Island is unlocked but it's worrying. I've been at the desert sweetie. I couldn't take you on a bus for some reason but I can take you in a cable car. Um, I'm gonna go through here down here and then through here because we've got sprinklers and we've got Rare crows, although we don't need rare crows, it's... I know the normal bet needs like sprinklers. Why would you need a scarecrow in a greenhouse today? Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm questioning that myself. I was wondering whether I said that I need scarecrows for the greenhouse. Maybe just to keep, keep the crops company, really, but... No, I, I think it was just my brain speaking before I could think. Because I got there and my... Oh yeah, we will grab them and make. Why am I grabbing these for a greenhouse? Those aren't needed, are they? I don't think there are, at least, because um, I might, I'm on the horse. So you are right. You do not need them at all. But my brain's, I think, a bit um out of it just now. And I might get a few more trees planted just for in us. Either that, or I put kegs. Although I think kegs would be much better option. I think this isn't actually. As big as the normal one. Where is it? I think it is. Because you do this and then you've got to here. There you go. Oh, I need to tell it, don't I? That would be handy. I'm not going to bother watering it. I'll just let it water itself when it's time, basically. But you do have a point maybe to keep that statue some company really but i think what i will end up doing is i'll just put a few kegs in here so that we can make the wine and whatnot and then maybe put a shipping bin in here the shipping bin we got from pierre just as a little thing if that makes sense just to sort of um Help with the wine processing. I might also see about putting some sort of path on here because I don't like how the floor looks. I could get it, but I wish I could fix it up if that makes sense. I don't know if I can. If I put a floor down, I imagine I can put a floor down in here. And all of it should be watered very easily. I'll put the beets in once my bok choy grows or something because it's not going to take too long to grow it. Look at that. But yeah, sometimes my brain just speaks too fast. Like, I, I, my mouth speaks too fast before I can actually think and um, things happen. Alright, so we've got that. 
Um, I would like to put like just a, is it rustic wooden floor or whatever it's called? Uh, this one, rustic plank floor, either that or the wood floor. Or that we need trees, deforestation, here we go. Oh, don't we love some deforestation around Stardew Valley? You want to make a floor? Sure, just go and chop some trees. I think before I craft everything into the floor though, I'm gonna just double check that that's okay. Like, th that I can place it there. And then I think I just need to keep on going into mines really and get more like copper and whatnot. Do I want this one or this one? What, which one do we think is going to look nice? Are we going to plant and get five of these and five of these? Do we want something like that or do we want like that? I think I'm liking this one. What are your guys' opinions? Do we want this one or do we want that one? I'm happy doing whichever, but. Herbs want more beans, 76. I think the second one, Uh, you mean this one? I assume you mean this one as the second one, although I placed this one as the second one. So this is number one, this is number two. I guess. Bottom. Okay. Going with the bottom one. I'm gonna go with a hundred and hope that's enough. Actually, let's rip up the this one though. Like we can use it somewhere. But I like the like the how it colours, I guess. I like the little tune that we're playing now. <laughs> I think Robin would be pl proud of us. Right, we've got 36 floor. Do we he think this will be enough? Probably not. That's okay, we've got plenty more trees. I like it. And we can put like a, a, a probably a laugh of kegs. It's not going to be loads of them, but we can put quite a few of them in all the same. And then we'll put some lights in and I'll put a timer quest thing just to pop up as, as we need it. And I might look at maybe expanding the quarry tapping business a bit. So I think this should be plenty. No, no. And then what I'll do is I'll pick up these sprinklers for a moment. One. See, I don't know if I want to keep the edge also covered or not. Like, does that look nice? I like it to be fair. I don't remember, is it one or two footprint that it has? I don't know. But look at that. It's already nicer because the floor's done. I, oh, suddenly it's dark outside. Okay. Uh, right, so what I'll do is a green house. Nope. Our fruit. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll fold and repeat in 14 days, I guess. I think and there we go now pop it up top I think 
Oh no, that's the wrong one. I want this one. Yeah, that's cool because there we go. I'll put all the greenhouses next to each other. We've done these ones. We just need quarry done. That. But we're making progress. We've got some like automations in, a ter in terms of crops. And tomorrow we might look at just not not this part, the other one. Just like tidying up a bit on our farm and sorting that side of things out, I think. Uh quarry please. I might want to put a few more tappers in, maybe. Although I don't know, because I'm happy with the volume. Like we could maybe work on getting more orc resin really is the main one because that's the one we're going to be using for kegs suppose we could just plant tons of these trees but i don't mind having like a little bit of it here and there and just fall and ready the paths they're sort of to prevent these things from spawning because otherwise we're gonna have pain Removing the thing. Ta da! And then bus stop. Of course. Like, we don't have a lot of money at the moment, but we'll, we'll be fine. I should have left the seeds in, in there, really. Um, okay. What I'll do is I'll go and drop everything off. And what we'll do, I think, as well, is we're gonna. Move some of the bits around tomorrow, uh, chest wise and whatnot as well. Because I've got this big shed, but I think it's just going to be kept for like. Um, we don't need it's This goes in here. How are we looking with bars? Uh, what do I need? I think it's copper that I need for this, isn't it? Yeah, copper. So, and iron. So. We need copper and iron. In that case, we're going to be smelting some copper for now. I think. And then what we'll do, I think, is we'll move the furnaces out somewhere. Uh, that one. We don't really need gold. We need gold for sprinklers, but that's about it. I'm not too fast about it just now. Uh, I think all the floors are in here. Here, fine. There we go. We're, I'm also gonna do that. Ta da! We've caught up with everything today. And see you at an Arya's birthday tomorrow. In grand, that's not bad. Yuma likes apples and grapes, and Arya likes coffee bean and cherry plot. Plot. Is that a tree? I've listed it as a fruit, so I'm... Is that a bird? Yeah, I know. It's raining tomorrow on Ginger Island. Cool, okay. I'm also going to check this swine down here, because I'm not checking them. I wouldn't be surprised if... 22 days to mature, okay. Yeah. Let's go. So we ideally I would like to make more kegs, I think, or casks or whatever they are. What do I need for them? Wood and hardwood. Oh that's not hard at all. Okay. This is all growing. I like that I don't need to do anything with this just now. It's so nice. And I want to make like a little path here to make it pretty. But, right, so, what do we need? I need a coffee bean. I mean, I can get a gold coffee bean to get boost us a bit in terms of friendship with her. And then, apple or grape. I think we've got gold quality grapes. So I know we need grapes. I mean, it doesn't say we need them, but I'm pretty sure we need them for something. Either way, we're going to give them this... I'm gonna put the Junimo here for now. We're gonna move it about and whatnot. I'm gonna finish off this bit. 
I also need to figure out what this cherry plow is. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much rain for now. Oh. Right, okay. It's all out of cheese side of things. Odd. Right. How much, man? There we go. Done. Honestly, I'm I'm enjoying this game quite a bit, especially with the mods. It makes it more fun. Three, five, six, seven. I think that's what we've got here. Are we wrong? Oh, I am wrong. Got nine. I guess we don't have any wool, so that's cool. Cloth needs to stay with us. Yeah, and I think all the like crafty chests will go in there. And I know I recently moved the shed from there and expanded it, but in hindsight, I probably should have kept it because it's just so much easier to do it this way. I don't know where Yuma is at this point. Is Yuma? Because I know he moves about quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. Yuma is still at the house. And then Arya tends to just stay at the house, so. Go see Yuma first. Give him the grape. And go to the birthday party, I think. I believe Yuma lives here. Oh, there we go. You remember my birthday? Of course! My brother likes the cold. Okay. I'm also going to talk to you since I'm here. Because I don't think we're friends at all. Uh, I don't have probably anything to give you at this point. Um, I'm going to go into the hotel. I don't know if that's going to get us to 10 hearts with him. Or if it's just going to get us just under it. But either way, it will be fine. I wish I could book an event for tomorrow, but it's every other day that I can book it, really. Happy birthday, Yuma. How are we doing with Yuma, actually? <gasps> We're 10 hearts! Woo! We did it, guys. We're full hearts with Yuma. First it was Demetrius, now Yuma. Now it's just, like, a bit weird in a way that... What do we have here? Jacket and design info, not gonna happen. Very wish list, also not gonna happen. Um, what you got here? I challenge someone to catch five sculpin fish. I mean, I'll pick it up, but just like other fishing quests, I, I don't know whether I'll do it. And I believe Arya will be at home, because she really... If she's not here, we can look for her, but... Here's Louis. The little plant room. That's Maeve and Sonny. Here's Arya. I've got a coffee bean for you. Birthday gift. That's very kind of you. Eight hearts. Ooh, I haven't had the chance to prepare my questions for my mock hawk the position next week. Let's hurry home now. Well, you are home, dear. I don't think you need to hurry much. Already in the kitchen. Like. I think they'll be fine, right? You need to hurry home, guys. We need to go and say hello to apples at some point as well. Look at that. <laughs> There's a little thing here. Island butterwort. Also, I wanted to take that plum cut thing, so I'm gonna see if they've got a key for it. I would presume because 
put it as a fruit, it would be in the fruit trees at the orchard people's place. Also, I wanted to get another three trees to plant outside, so that would work. And see, these look like the ones we've got. So I don't really know. Hi, do you have plum cults by Cherry Plow? Is that the one that I need? I think it is, isn't it? Hold on, I can check, can't I? Uh, cherry Plow, yeah, I need that. So, you know what, I'll get two, because I'll put one outside as well. And then... That goes in fall, and then I don't have any more money, so that's cool. But we can put another two trees in, and then go from there. For some reason, apparently, I did not buy the cherry plow, but that's okay. We can get it. There's a horse. Mine is here, though. Ours got a stylish little red hat. I don't know why I'm going the way I am because I could have just went over the bridge really. Make things easier for me, but no. I don't know if I need this at any point. So for now I'm going to keep it, I think. There's the thingy. I'm pretty sure I need that for a bunch of them. I'll check all the same. We can go. Yeah. We can go home. And um, drop off the beds that. Well, we're gonna go home. Although no, we're gonna find Lewis first. Lewis, where art thou? Shall I explain? Thank gun for Leah, yeah, Andy, Emma. Don't know where. Don't know where Lewis is? Is he up here somewhere? He doesn't go up here though. Uh, right. You know what? I don't know where he is. He's not getting his trap oil today. Cause this will be like a little like orchard type of thing, eventually. And we put so we can put one here and then one will go in there. I don't know why I'm not drinking this thing. Because it would make my life so much easier as well. And I'm gonna get rid of these two before they become a problem. We've got a chanterelle and a moral, so just now we just need a red mushroom to complete for the life thing. Okay, um, yeah, because I don't see it anywhere, so, there we go, that will grow now too, woohoo, I'm gonna sell that, we just need a red shroom. Okay, what I'll do is I'll pop all this in here, including my tools. I think the only one that I'm going to keep is the pickaxe. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll start moving the bits up there for now, I think. I think I would like to get a few more uh, furnaces, I think. Maybe. Move the machines first. In here, there's nothing in here, so that's just this one. Do you have anything? There's one, okay, this one's empty, so we'll sort of start it like preemptively and all the bits up. And then I think I can move this, yeah, perfect. Because then I can just walk around here 
Yeah, and they'll sort out the floor and whatnot, but the furnaces go like that. I wouldn't mind getting another row, like another five of them. I don't really use the charcoal and kill. So I could just put it in the, sh in the chest, really. I'll put it in here, and that will be like the spare machines and whatnot. Put it like that, and that goes in here. I mean, put a recycler up here. And then, Mr. Larian will go in here, and you can do this. So, and... Hmm... The only thing with the workbench is ideally you want like all the chests around it. But what I might do is I might put the the monster loot the like for example this will be the wood area and then one because I mean some of it I don't actually need so I might do that. So I might put for now in here. Then move it later. Okay, so we need all this with us. Move all this as well. Yeah, because technically I can put all of that in the same chest, don't I? So, right. Yeah, I think I'll just mesh all of that together to be fair, because I think it might be easier. If it's all in the one set, isn't it? Okay, this is that one. This will be right. So this, I'm thinking this can be mines, or even switch them around. Actually, put this as mines, put this as wood, because if we're in the mines, it might be easier to just come in, drop this sort of stuff off. I call them monster stuff and whatnot. We can keep it all in here. And then what I could do is do like that. Because then I should be able to access that chest, yeah. This can go in the wood. This obviously is the monster drops. And then, I took, oh no, I think the middle one we can put for gems or something. Because we're not going to access the gems chest that often, are we? I normally just access it when I need to get some bits. There we go. And then this is coming with us. I think these can come with us too, to be fair. And then it will just be that random fish chest. Sorts. This will also have the crab pots because I don't know what to do with them. Really. Um, this will have all the like gems and whatnot, like that. Also, I'm gonna change the color of it to this color, like that color, and then this will go in here. Oh, that comes with me. It's gonna go somewhere else. So we've got Jade, although I might, no, Jade will stay in here too, why not? And then we've got that weird fishing chest to get. I'm up, no, I'm not going to put any chests around that workbench, I don't think, because then we can't access it really, uh, that gem chest. Although I suppose I could, slightly, this is like the fishing weird thing. I think I was just keeping it for like foods and whatnot as well. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. Because the other thing I was thinking is to put two chests on this and move that one out and put the workbench in the middle. That might be another one. Uh, another variant that we can use really 
and then I guess this could be the, the wood one and then this can be gems for example because we tend to use jet, uh, wood a bit more often than, than whatever else and then this one can be the blue weird fish thing which is no no that's green no yeah that's let's go dark blue we put fish in here and then we grab all this like so and we put it in here i don't know why the cup isn't it's gonna stay here for now there we go and then this is the gemstones this is that one yeah might make it this one actually then we've got a little like workbench here can i make five furnaces one two three four five. i mean it does reduce the amount of copper we've got five and i think i could then move this slightly to be fair i wouldn't mind putting like a row of crystallariums in here what do i need for a crystallarium five gold bars Ooh. Uh, right. Or maybe, you know what, actually, I know I'm just moving them, but just to make it neater for now. Like so. There we go. We do have spare chests, but I'm going to use them outside for the crops. Because they're all in, I think, wooden chests, so I'm going to move that. We're going to smell all this that we can because now we should be able to smell 11 bars at a time which is going to be a huge difference all right can i make like a little bit of like light or something in here could but i would prefer something on the wall maybe i'll use the decorative table thingy Can I not pick it up? Uh, yeah, because these are wooden chests and I like that. I'll be honest, I like the stone look a bit more. So, um, we could plant this right here, I guess. Uh, first of all, I do want a big fish tank. Or the fish. Uh, we can do... I'll get two of them. Um, then I want these walls cones these shells i think would be nice put four and i want windows wherever they are they do exist in here you know what actually we could do a little fireplace here too make it a little maybe two books um the window and windows i don't see windows is it in the other one Maybe, oh, maybe I'm in the way. On a little couch as well, I think. I'm gonna go with blue and a red, I think. Queen of the Gem C, we're gonna pick that up. All the like floors and walls are in the other catalogue, but that's fine. Decorative trash can. Yes, lovely. Uh, no, I want the windows. And I feel like at this point I would have noticed them. Like, if I run past windows, there you are. Basic small window, porthole, ornate window. I think, I think we'll just go with maybe small ones. Because I don't think we need big ones in here. Okay, so I think what we'll do, first of all, is put... that and then that we can put the window window a window so i can't put that can i this i take that in then we can put a little fish tank in here we've got all these fish right we can like put a bit of sea I don't know if I can put algae. 
I, can you go in here? John, can you go in here? You in here? Yeah. John. Okay. Oop. Right, can I put angler? Can I put a trout in? Look at that! We've got fishies in there. Can I put the other midnight squid in? I know I did. That's cool. Look how pretty it is now. And then what I might do is I'm gonna move this up a bit. This table's gonna maybe put, be put like here for now and then what I was thinking of is we can put like a little fireplace. I guess I'm gonna take this off because we can put this I'm gonna move Maybe do that. Put a little window. Like so. And I know it's getting late, but I can't rotate it. That's cool. And then put like a little. These couches are huge, I just realized. Like that. Even like this. And then. If we pass out, we pass out. We can put this with the useless machines and then a little recycling one over here. And you can put the cat pots in. No, they're not useful. I might look for... We can get rid of these. I think I'm going to get rid of that too. These bars are kind of blocking. That, because obviously this... Alternatively, we could do it like this. Ah. You can sit and enjoy our little time here. And I'm realizing that we're running out of time. I think this is big and small, so I want like a night. Maybe this one. Oh, we passed out. It's a little work shed where all the work is happening, aside from processing, obviously. Like, like, oh, crafting and whatnot. I think it looks cool. It's not the best looking shed, let's be honest, but we can get a little floor and uh, let's see. I want, I think I want the little brick one, but our fireplace is very dark, so I want the, the other one. This one's right, I think. No, I don't like the texture on that one. Is what it is, I'm pretty sure. Well, I like this one. We're going to go with that brick, I think. Either that or this one. I'm going to go two of these because I'm going to try high, I think. I'm going to take two of each. And then for, oh, no. For the floor. Maybe this one, either. This one or this one. The reason I get two is because I can easily like swap them out and then decide which one I want and then the other one and it doesn't cost me anything so yo I'm gonna sort this out right do we want the white brick I do like the white brick how about the rainbow brick oh I like that I think we're gonna go with that one and then this one or this one I think I like this. Go oh, and then we've got a little rug. Can't place it because of the couches, I think. So we're gonna place the rug first. Oh. We're gonna do that and then like so oh, no, I want a table, like a little corner table. Be a sun table, I guess. That's a big table. I want a tiny. I guess I, I want like a then table type of thing. Be this one. I want another one of those actually. And that it, I figured it out. Oh no, that's more than table. I want. Modern eight table, I think. Either that or the wind one. 
Winter one. I like the winter one. Like that, and then maybe put something on there. Maybe one of these. And then a radio, maybe. Ta da! I mean, I could get a coffee cup, but. Copper and gold. So I'm gonna get rid of these because we've sorted this place out. I think it looks nice. Got a bit more full in it now, I guess. And then, because I, I know I kept these fish to get like a certain bit, maybe put them into the fish tank. I think I'll need to put this one because I need ink. For if it, who foods, I'm pretty sure. And we can use these guys to give them, give it to us. But look at that! We've obviously got a bit of room to like expand as well if we wanted to. Right, we're gonna put some of this now into smell. And it feels like it's gonna actually be better progress far wise because we're gonna be making 11 at once. Then when we take this away, could technically in few put it as a little coffee table type of thing like that i wouldn't mind moving it up a little bit actually and then we can like move and whatnot that's cute i like it and obviously we can then like once we've got the resources we can put a row of crystallariums out here as well there we go problem solved right let's deal with actual day tasks that we need to sort out quickly uh, we'll put these in here and this one in here for now. I don't think I actually need anything out here for now. So who is it? Kimpoi and Elliot. El Elliot likes pomegranates. What does Kimpoi like? Uh, Kimpoi, bok choy or autumn do drop juice? I don't have bok choy. Oh, I or is it ready? I don't think it is because it's one more day. Mm. So... I don't know what else to get him. Um, I'll see if there's anything else that he likes. Oh, someone's coming. Help. It's me. Oh, no. Hi. Save me. Oh, don't say that. I'm not that bad, am I? No, I'm I, joking. How are you all right? Yeah, you? I've just been looking. Uh, they, they missed me back about the job. Okay. And I said, I love you too. Hee <laughs> you're fun. Sorry, right, everybody. Okay. Oh, I'm interrupting everything. I know I'm ruining it. Right you're now. not interrupting. I'm, I'm I mean, you're not. It's okay. We like you. Do you? I might just stay here forever then. Okay, go for it. <laughs> All right. Cat! Huffle, I, I like you, but you need to move. In fact, I'm going to need to move these cakes at this point, I think. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Right, 
Cool. I just wanted to let you know to see what your thoughts were. Yeah, that sounds cool though. I mean, as like I said, it would only be four hundred pound less than. What... Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, it's not a big problem, is it? <sighs> Especially because there's two of us, so all the bills. And I'd also be going for uh, they said an SP level seven. That's good. I don't know why that. Was. Qualification. Yeah, I know it's a qualification. But I don't know what it's equivalent. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Because I've been googling it, and it's like I haven't seen anything for level seven. But I've seen things for like level three. I well, uh, I don't know. I wish I could help, but I don't know. That's okay. Right. Uh, we're gonna. Put... Is Burbs about? Burbs has just gambled, so he is in there. Yes. Does he want to help me with um power? Well, how about you message him? I'm gonna ask. Reckon Dick will be about. I, you can ask. Nothing's stopping you from asking. You. Herbs, please help me. What I'm thinking is this time around we're gonna just set it up as like up and down rows instead of like columns instead of rows even. And then we're gonna put these into make. Might keep two bottles of wine. One will go to Lenny and the other one will go to Kimpoi because I feel like he'll like wine. And then I can look at making more of them. And then what I'll do is red wine. And then put that, sorry, repeat every seven days. Put bold. There we go. It's been done for today, but then we can pick it back up tomorrow. Uh, essentially, it will just refresh itself. And then I'll move all this. I'll figure out what I want to pickle and preserve and whatnot and then oh no i wanted to keep it for the thing oh oh well we'll get another set next week so that's cool uh we've got kimboy's birthday and elliot we need a pomegranate we've got a wine that's cool because pomegranate is for elliot because that's the easiest thing to get for him at this point really Hold on. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. There you go, and we can get the feather. And I do want to, I think, look at building a few more coops. Maybe another coop and a barn. Although I don't really need more coops, really. It's more maybe getting two more barns. Um, more, more precisely, actually, because if we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, if we can get a few more barns, so we can get maybe a barn with sheep and essentially split up, move the pigs on their own, get sheep on their own, and then or maybe split them with like cows or something, and have goats or something like that. That makes sense. And eventually we'll have ostriches, so we could split sheep of ostriches, for example. Right, okay. Um, I need a pomegranate. That will be in the greenhouse. I'm gonna shake it. I mean, it does reset that tree's progress, but it's not gonna be the worst thing ever. They're all ready. Okay. Oh yeah, because we're stay behind. Okay, I'll. There we go. Like obviously, I could have harvested the rest of them, but. It's gonna be easier. Like I say, hopefully, as time goes on, we can start moving bits in a bit, in a sense. There's going to be less and less things out and about on the farm and it's going to like, we can look at decorating it. And what helps now is we've got those like fake flowers, I guess, best way to describe it, the decorative ones. That we can plot, oh, no, please don't drink it, it's a present. I think Kimpo, yeah, he's in the shop there. Lenny is in the, I mean, like in the town hall. So we'll stop by Lenny first, we'll give her, oh, okay. 
What's this? Um, I don't think that's quite right, Miss Lenny. What's going on? What? Come on, I'm a fine prince. I think it's perfect. Bridgeside Village, the village with a view. Now that's a slogan. I like that. Whatever you say, Miss Lenny. Although I would suggest we have a proper meeting with everyone else in the village for this. And this will be much more fun to have everyone brainstorm on it. I mean, speaking of everyone. Hey there, Martima. Oh, no, that, that. It's so nice of you to visit the village. Thanks. Hi, hello, Martima. Hello. Mr. Zane here and I were talking about the village slogan. It's lazy, but well, it has been there for such a long time and no one has bothered to properly change it. It may not be much at first glance, but this hiding on a good slogan can help establish this village's character more to tourists and easily convey its theme to the people. Which potentially can benefit this town's economy, but I do suggest the village have a proper meeting for it. What do you think? Well, I know you don't live here, but I've heard so much about all you've accomplished for the sake of the village that it feels like you're already part of this. And so I'm interested in your input as well. I agree. I'll try to find a good time to hold a meeting for this. Thank you so much to the both of you. We can finally start on officiating a proper slogan. Yeah, well, I'm interested where this all goes. Right, Martima? Sure. Horsey, I'm coming with me to see um, Lenny. I believe Lenny will be... That's all, guys, so we're not needing to talk to her. Huh? Oh, we've got something. Hi, hello there, Martima. It's so good to see you. It's fortunate that you're here. I need to tell you something important. Okay. The thing is, how do I say this? Thank you, farmer. Oh, you're very welcome. You might not know, but your work has indirectly made improvements to the valley. Because of the popularity of your farm, we've been getting lots of visitors both here and in Pelican Town. And because of that, our town's in incomes have increased as well. You might not know it, Martima, but you're such a blessing for this valley. So once again, on behalf of the villagers here, thank you. Yep, no worries. When you talk about fixing your other buildings, I'm sorry for the little fake out earlier. I thought it was funny, haha. <laughs> I don't know what she's on about now. Well, by the way, because of the good progress in the village, we started saving funds for rebuilding one of the local greenhouses. All we need now are the materials. So if you want to contribute, I can give you the list of needed materials. Sure. What could go wrong? Lenny, I've got a present for you and I hope you're gonna love it. This is a nice gift. Nice gift, excuse me, lady. I'm looking forward to its restoration. Do I have not Drop of hardwood, stone, iron bars. I mean, iron bars are going to be really the main thing because you want 50 of them. Um, We'll work on it. Like, I don't think the greenhouse is the immediate concern, no, because we've got all the other... Like, we've got two greenhouses at this point. And I believe if it wasn't for the fact that we haven't done any of the community upgrades just yet. Okay, next one is Claire's birthday. Okay, I'm going to... Claire's birthday. Oh. Um, it would be having extra greenhouse as well. Like, it's great about the greenhouses, but I think we need to also keep an eye on the fact that we'll end up having so many crops. This is so boring. And what, pray tell, would you prefer to do instead, Isa? Remember, I took you in after you ran away from your parents, so don't go lazing about now, granddaughter. Come on, Grandpa, you have to admit it, too. It gets kind of boring just sitting around here in the lobby for almost the whole day, just waiting for someone to come in. But hey, don't get me wrong, I like helping you around here. You complain just like how your father would complain when I made him help me around here. I do appreciate your hard work, Giza. Thank you. Ooh. So does that mean I get the day off now? Haha, <laughs> you may wish. Hmm, it never hurts to wish. 
Aha, uh -huh. well, now I suppose I can give you an hour early off for today if you want. I saw you practicing your ballet again after all these years in a gym last night as I was going to bed. I'm glad you're going back to dancing, my dear. Oh, you saw all that? <laughs> I kind of thought it's time to slowly ease back into it. Living here has cleared my head. And Grandpa, thank you for the hour off later. I love you. Aww. You still have work to accomplish, dear. Promise me you'll be kind to the customers, alright? I heard some complaints the other day saying you were rude. Grandpa, it wasn't my fault. They were rude first. Oh my, here we go again. If your grandmother were here, she would have known how to handle you. Where Grandpa? He was saying this... To be fair. Right, okay. Uh, it's... Common birthdays. I think, I guess it's like a couple of days in advance that I can do it. So, I guess not today. And we know where Kim Poy is. He's the guy that sells tree saplings. And I might also grab a random tree sapling from him. The plant. It's really the only one we need at this point. Right? Yeah. Because I want one more. Hello. I can point. Um, getting a wine. That's very kind of you. I love it. Yay. Are you done with your work? Yeah. Oh well. Now we just need to find Elliot, but Elliot tends to either be at the bar or at his beach house, so... Occasionally he goes to the library. But I... Mm, ideally, I would like to sort of... Make progress in terms of sorting out... Like, there's a few buildings here, which is kind of cool. Like... Do... They want to restore that which again i'm not too fast about like it will be great once it's restored and whatnot but i don't think we need it right this moment like there's so many other things that i want to get sorted before we look at more cropage i guess i think the best thing with that would be though just to get like crops that will just keep on growing sort of thing like the regrowable ones Elliot's at the beach yeah hi because we then don't need to worry about constantly having to have seeds and whatnot I need to get Lewis there you go have you tried Gus's secret spaghetti sauce the ingredients may be secret but the smell isn't I'll see you later Turn 50 Is that Elliot? No. Where is Elliot? He's in front of me somewhere. There he is. There we go. Five hearts. Yay! I'll talk to Willie as well because we're like very close to beating them. Right. I don't. I don't. I'm not needing anything from here, so I'm gonna skip that, and then we're gonna. Indeed, Elliot. That is really really fun. Like. I like his story arc and I think he's the only one where when we do get married to him he keeps on going for what he wants type of thing. Like he still goes on a book tour and he enjoys him away sort of thing rather than like Sebastian wanted to leave the town and ends up staying. Penny, well, she's the damsel in distress type of situation, so everyone loves her and helps. Yeah, and, like, he has things that he's doing rather than just... I don't I don't know how to describe it, really, but you know what I mean? Like, he's very much... Yeah, I mean, I did marry Shane one playthrough but and 
I like him. I like. I don't mind his story in general. What I don't like is that although his story happens, he then still continues to spend majority of time in the bloody saloon. Although he doesn't drink. And it's like... But why? Sort of situation. It's like, I don't... I don't know if I want this or if I want those pebbles. What do we think? Do we want this or do we want pebbles? Don't marry him. Yeah. If you marry him, it ends up being sort of backwards. And his room is just... When you do marry him, his room also just ends up being very much nothing's changed. Because it's all mess. You can see all the Georgia cans and whatnot. And it's like... Please let me clean it at least, or get him to clean it. Containing his schedule. Um, yeah, especially that he's like, oh, I'm gonna stop drinking now, and it's like, okay, then why are you constantly going to the sun? I know that literally there's nothing else to do in town. But something tells me if you're a former alcoholic, you're not gonna keep on putting yourself in a situation where you might start drinking again. At least from is better, yeah. But also, I think this just comes from the point of view where I'm very much a bookworm and I love books and he's a bookworm and so he doesn't, like, cause trouble for me in that sense. Yeah, I'd do like me some chain, okay, that's for sure. I know. Yes, book one boy. I do like me some Elliot. And like I say, I've, I mean, obviously I haven't married everyone as of yet. I haven't gone through that process. But out of, from what I've seen other people play, etc. Elliot is one of the few that keeps on having that progression because once you do marry him, I think the 13 heart event or whatever it is after marriage is that he goes on a book tour. Mind you, it was a bit awkward because he went on a book tour and then while he was away, a random night, Elliot's like, do you want to have a baby? So I got pregnant while he was out of town, technically speaking, but it's still his baby. Sort of thing that was a tad awkward sort of thing but i was like okay i guess we're going with that <laughs> yeah i was like i guess it works okay you're here and the junimo is worship it's blessing all the crops for us i think and then what we'll do is i've got some chests and i'm gonna move them uh, that's a shipping bin we do not need that Check you do need, and I'm gonna, I think, do like maybe put two here, and then I'll put two here. I think that will look good, and that will be spring, summer, uh, fall, winter because we now do have a winter. Yeah. But honestly, it was the, the silliest of things because then he came back and I'm like, so here's a thing, Elliot. Um, I may have gotten pregnant and it might be your baby. I know you weren't out of town for, for the whole pregnancy even before it happened. But um, you're the father. I hope that's okay with you. Hope you're not going to judge me or anything. Just, just, just thought you should. Not really. Yeah. How was your book tour? Great. Okay. By the way, we now have a baby. That's actually what it ended up being. I'm like... <laughs> and you've got interseeds, but we should have another thing. And there we go. Right. We've got a few more in here. I'll put the wheat in here because I don't mind it. And same with sunflower seeds. I'll just need to keep on remembering that that's where they are, I think. There we go. 
Yeah. You know what? We're going to move these for now. Because I don't mind moving them halfway through the season. And then we'll have a spare ginger island chest. But that will go somewhere else. Do we still have something in here? A sprinkler. Okay. Got random cactus seed. Um, and we've got all this stuff. Okay. So, um... And those are these chests. I don't have stuff. Uh, and then I want. Once you get a recycler, all the wooden chests are going to get recycled. And I think I'll put one here, like that. And these will be like the farm tools sort of things, like sprinklers and these sort of things. And then and this one will be for Ginger Island. We're gonna make like pink, I think, and that will have like all these. And probably they could, could they? It can also be grown outdoors on Ginger Island, by the way, because I did plant it there at one point. There we go. And I like this little, we'll put a little statue or something in here, and maybe put a little flower pot, and then we're gonna go to bed. Because we can still, like, partially run through crops of our horse. But yeah, Elliot's death. Like, I think I married him twice at this point. And it's more so that I genuinely like his story arc. Like, he comes off a bit snobbish and whatnot initially. But he's not. He's just... He uses more complicated words than I do. But to be fair, at the same time... I can see that happening, especially with like authors. If if you're like really into writing books and whatnot, you're gonna have a big yeah, that too. Like you're gonna have a big vocabulary and have a bunch of random words that that you use. I like this little sap. Look how cute it is. Okay, I need bok choy. And I'm going to get wheat because what we'll do is we'll put, I think, mm -hmm. this takes 10 days and that takes 6. And is it Amar? No, we're going to put this in. And to be fair, I got my degree in English, so he never came off as snobby to me. Yeah, see, I don't really think he's snobby either, but I know there are people that think that, that he's a bit he just likes books that's his favorite pastime so i think i've got a siphon here so what i might do is i might drop the siphon in one of these chests too but i will say i'm kind of happy how this is turning out like obviously this this could be a iridium sprinkler but i'm happy that it's not in a way because it adds a bit more like bits going on around the farm instead of just being default all nice shape grid and whatnot like there's a lot of people that hate welcome back taco I've seen creators with that take and like, okay, he's not your type. Yeah, but there's genuinely people that are so hateful towards him. Like, but, but, he's, he's a him. How can you not like him? But then I, I sort of see it and I'm like, yeah. That said, I do like him. So, I need bok choy, so I'm going to drop it off and I'm going to mark it off the sheet while we're at it. This is portables. This is farm. I'm going to find it on here. It's a top, so it's going to be up top. Uh, we also need one B, actually, for <laughs> for a recipe. So I'll need to get another one. Um, bok choy, we need one, which we've now gotten. And I'll sell five of them, actually. And I'll put the honey oil, actually, now, too. Because we need four in total. But yeah, I definitely do like... Elliot, and um, I've married him twice. I've married Shane. 
And I think those were the, the, the main three playthroughs that I've done. Because I married Shane on my first playthrough when it was off stream and so on. And then I've married Elliot in my... I want to say Jojo run because I've done one for the aluminum seam. That said, I do like a Jojo run. I know it's sacrilegious to say so, but the Jojo run's actually not bad. So I'm waiting for these to really go away because I can't be bothered pickaxing them. Um, but yeah, I like I like the Jojo run. It was fun. It, there's more days, and right now I'm going after another NPC. Oh, Sebastian, okay. <laughs> I thought, I assumed it was like a, <laughs> a modded NPC or something, but that's fair. Three, six. Yeah, I, I've married Elliot twice. Um, I don't know who I'm going to go for now. I'm, I'm tempted, like, part of me is thinking Leah, but at the same time I'm tempted to go for someone that's, been modded in is it's a modded run and it feels weird otherwise like three four five six no i put the cheese back in but i i wanted to like i don't know who to go for at this point because there's so many candidates I'm gonna get me it even hasn't Go for it. Like, I think with the mod, there's just so many more NPCs to, to just marry. Like, at this point, I've got... Oh, okay, I can put that back into. And also sell this. We've got fruit trees to sort out. Um, I'll be honest, I think that we're, oh, it, 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 we're getting near the time where... We're going to forget about fruit trees every now and again. We're not going to harvest them just because we've got other things to do, but... For now, we can do this. Okay, that is... Oh, I thought I accidentally planted a random tree that's not going... Well, it's changes to, like, the... Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of it, and like if we look at this, right? I mean, we've got these ones, but Faye is locked because you need to do a certain thing to unlock her as a marriage candidate. But she is anyone that says locked, it is a marriage candidate. It's just that you need to do a certain thing essentially. We've got Maru. Obviously, you've got the normal ones, but you've got Victor. Um, I'm not going to count the normal ones. But you've got Isabel, Floor, Anton. Olivia, Kenneth, Paula, Lisa, Zane, that's already 10, and you've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, let's count that as 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. That's just like, you know, just the, your, just the ones for, that I've got unlocked. But there's a few more characters that haven't shown up yet. And it's like, hmm. It's kind of silly. Yeah. I mean, I think the best way, if you actually want to marry everyone, is just to go on a divorce train as well, just keep on divorcing everyone. That's really the only way that, unless you want to do like 30 odd playthroughs just to marry every single person. There we go. Right, okay, what's next? Wanted lobster. Yeah, you're going to get it when you're going to get it, don't worry. Uh, we're going to mark this as done. Uh, Right, we've got our little shed here done, which I'm really happy about, to be fair, because it looks kind of cute. It looks a bit more lived in. That, that. I might sort out the monster bits, though, because 
there's a lot of them and they end up being like over the place but like we've got a little cozy nook here and they like the bits that we're not gonna use end up here and then we've got a little fish tank with some of the fish we've got <laughs> and that's an angler so we've got the fall legend then I'm liking this little layout. It's cute. And then I don't know what we're gonna do here, but this will be one of the obelisks because you can put a three by three here. And you can put it, and I might put it into like the mountains because we've got all the mine stuff in here, so it would make sense for it to be the mountain one. And then we've got this little bit here because I mean we need a two wide path, so we are running through crops, but I think it looks nice. It just fits and then we've got all this i want to move these beehives a little bit i think though because i want to put the path in uh, i think that is actually enough i think being the keyword because yeah because of this won't be enough here so i need a few more i've never married anyone because my attention span is not of a goldfish you know what fair I've married three people and at this point I don't know who I want to marry but I'm sure we're gonna figure it out um it's just really about making a decision and sticking to it but there we go and then I think what we can do because the beehive still should yeah and put one here and I wouldn't mind adding a few more beehives actually I don't know. I don't remember what I need for it. I know I need, I think, maple, is it? I'll see if I can get maybe like another three or so beehives in there. Hello, bars. So, and we're going to do this. I'll need to go and get more coal at some point. I wish coal wasn't as expensive in this game as it is. It just doesn't have a reason to it. Oh, those iron bar. Oh, I don't really want to use iron bar or coal for it. So no, I can make a bunch of these. So we're gonna make those. Ooh. Am I out of wood? What? Okay, I I had more. Wood. I've used all the wood on this, but we've got sixty four of them. But that's okay because we're gonna start actually filling out the basement with them. And then, I mean, we don't have enough wine producing stuff, but. You know what I mean? Like, we're gonna do this. I know this works, but I don't know at which point. Nope, please don't do that one. And I think it goes like this. To be fair, I could do. Ooh. I can do like the. Ooh. Okay. You know what? That works actually. Believe it or not. So we're gonna that. Okay, we're gonna move that one because it's now stressing me out. Um. Because you can get these ones fine, and then this one is as it is, and we need. Probably another line of them. So, woo! But yeah, if we're gonna. I swear to God, if it's Pokey, I'm, I'm not. Hello, hi. Um, uh, this is Vincent. Hi. Do you have any piggies on your farm? I do. Okay, I gotta go. Do you wanna come and see the piggies? You. Do you want to pet a piggy? Happy for you to come over. I know I've got a bit of wood. Yeah, I've got a bunch of wood in here. So that's fine for now. Because I want to like sort this out at some point. I'm waiting for this to disappear. And then we'll do that bit. I, I think I left my horse over there. No, oh, there it is. My stuff is in here, isn't it? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay, 
Next thing I want to do is move these, I think. I don't mind them being where they are, but maybe space them out a little bit because I think what's happening is because of how close they are, not all of them get hit, potentially, or maybe there's a limit on how many you can get. There we go. We can, I guess, put a few, like, both, a little, really. That's fine, because I want a path a little bit here, if it's needed. Oh, you're getting in the way again. Right, uh, this just is getting gone. This one needs to get gone as well. I might set a lot of this produce because I am nowhere near being able to process that amount of stuff. Like it's just not happening right now and um there we go and then get rid of this because what i think i might do once we were there is put a mill in here maybe pop it in here if it's possible I think the cat is kind of in the middle of it. Uh, do that. I don't, I don't need this or this. Okay. It's not going to thunder tomorrow. I'm not really that worried. But what I could do is I could put it in here. I don't know if that's good putting it next to the top thing, but... There we go, that's a bit like that. I like how this looks and over time I think, I, I don't know if there's going to be a tree here. I might need to go in and put like a little thing in there myself. But then I can put one, put two in here. And I didn't like one being so close to the path. So we're gonna grab that one. Like sort of slightly space them out and make it pretty. Look at that. I like it. Alright, let's get rid of some of this crop because I am not gonna process it. Like I don't have time to process all of it. Um we're gonna sell all of this. I'm keeping all the beans. And then all this can be sold. And I've got the ancient fruit. Uh, there we go. Where's... Mushrooms aren't in here. Are the mushrooms in here? Yeah, right. That goes in here. Got a chest with me. So we're going to go and add that into the shed. This one and that one. Hello. Uh, we're gonna put that and put a little this one and then put this and we'll put this as well. And I've got one of the preserved jars so I might put this in here for now just just to put one of these in here for now. Then we can sort of work on it. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff as well because I don't think we're gonna... I don't really want to use this area for cops. I think it's a bit over the top if we also add this area to crops especially that we're gonna have four greenhouses eventually we're gonna have this area for crops we're gonna have ginger and like we're gonna have so much and i think this is for like yeah there we go look at that i like how it looks it, it's sort of starting to like be organized a bit more do i have any torches here and there six because what we're going to do is we're going to hide them like so. Because I like this place being lit up, but I don't want to like... What do I need for a toy? Wooden sap. Hmm. 
could grab a stack and maybe craft like 30 torches or something. We do have the sap for it. Fifty should be enough. Because what I'm thinking is we can like pop them behind no. Like the rare crows, just so like they're not seen. But they're glowy all the same. And put one in here because it's not visible. Like you don't need it to be lit up all the way through and through. Slightly lit up. Oh. Although we could put it on the fence. So yeah. Is the fence doesn't die now. So the, the torches are going to remain. I've got mod. But now I don't feel like it's a waste of time putting actual fences in. And I want to like... I'll sort these out. I might put them in like the middle of the stones as we go as well. Then you've got them put out a bit. And there's like a pattern to it. I like having like a pattern or something. And tackle. There's nothing wrong with not marrying anyone in this game. Like, in theory, you don't have to. From what I understand, if you do get married and whatnot, you get that going towards like your overall rating at the end of year two, but it's not like I need it, sort of thing. Good salad. Right. It's gonna be thundering tomorrow, which is lovely. We're also gonna get rid of these. Like, I might look at a space for them somewhere. I like the idea of these things being hidden so you don't see the, the torches everywhere. There we go. Right, eggplants are ready. I want some eggplants. You need to keep a few, so I'm gonna pop a couple in the, the ten into the fridge and the other... 14 are going in here. I've got a drum blow. I'll pop it in here. I've got a trophy. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's there. Right uh, and it's the second chest. The eggplants go in, and I'm going to mark them off as done. Eggplant. There we go. Perfect. I'm liking how it's coming along. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with what, what areas, but I might get the... Oh, I think I've got enough wood yet. I've got enough wood to get another barn, so I think I might do that. I'll get Robin to work on getting a second barn in. Because I think I do want three barns. I don't... I'm not fussed about cubs because I'm happy with... What I've got in a coop. We've got a good supply of eggs and whatnot. It's more about like I I just want more wool mostly because I don't know. There are a few quests that I'm being given that are like get me claw for these particular outfits and I'm like how do I get you those sort of thing but I don't know go and we need one because we've got the money for it like that's not a problem 148 
but then again, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm partially happy with what I've got, cook wise, uh, build animal building wise, but. Um, how many do we have? Nine now. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll stick it out and tomorrow. Basically, wait until we get the cough, maybe? I don't know. Right. Okay. So, got all these bits done, which is quite nice. There you go. Uh, right. Let's go get. There we go, that goes in here. Now we've got 37 um, of those. I'm gonna get more iridium just now because what I'm thinking is we'll get iridium and we'll upgrade our, the rest of our tools. And we need to go and farm some coal, I think. Point. Why did I come in here? That Discord sound made me look at my Discord. Is it from you? Yeah, it's from me, sorry. Uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, um, hold on, I should, I mean, it's going to probably take a shot. There we go. Because the streamer mode got disabled. Well, got disabled, I disabled it. So you could, like, hear all the bits. There we go. I like this little thing. I keep hearing it too, but I know it's not mine. My phone doesn't make that noise. Sorry. Uh, yeah, normally they my Discord's muted, um, but I think I unmuted it because I launched OBS way before I actually started streaming. And I was doing a few bits and I was waiting for messages to come through. So I was like, I'll, I'll put it on. And I just completely forgot to put it back off. Right, what are we doing? Because we've got this area. I think I like how it looks. We'll just like organize a bit more around the sides and whatnot. Um, there we go. Right. I don't need that. Right. We are going to go and chop some trees, I think. And we're going to talk to apples today, I think. That's a good plan. And I, and I know why I went into the, the thing. I went to get some oak seeds. And whatnot to plant a few trees in that little enclosure. What are you selling to? I mean... No, it's okay. I'll crack it. It takes a year. It's going to take a year. But we're going to catch the lobster. Yeah, but apologies about that. But yeah, no. Um... Definitely on my end, because it also pops up on on the side of my screen saying um, there's been a message put for me. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to leave my horse here and then we're going to just start chopping. Because it's not going to take too long to get a stack of wood, really. Right, I'm going to... Obviously, we started off with 300, so... What I'll do is I'll... I can't really... There we go. So that will just be the wood row, basically, so it's not filled in with other bits. I'm gonna get the oh, portables, because we need the hazelnuts for a few recipes. And you need to forage for them. Because why not? The thing is with this one, is because this is a huge forest, there's so many trees to chop, like, I don't think we would be able to chop it in the, even if we had a week to do it. There's three hazelnuts up there. I think we only need like two, so if we can get these, that's great. I don't remember how many we need, but... Up and takes us to cinder sap uh, to the secret woods or whatever you want to call it so we're good with that there's a 
there's a mushroom there. That. We got a purple mushroom too. We're doing things. We're getting a bunch of forageables. And most importantly, we'd. And then I think tomorrow we might go and hunt for some coal. If it's a good, like, they want. I'm thinking though is we might go into skull caverns and hunt for coal there because it can be so much easier a lot of the time. Oh, this is the last one we need for the life elixir. Because what I'm thinking is we can go and because you get all those backpack levels and you've got the minecart ones. So it, in theory it should be easier to get coal, I suppose. We get two stacks of wood today. Probably my energy will run out before that happens, but we can always try. Good thing is as well, if you run out of hay, this place is a great place to go. Bit up. I wonder if we can get this like rotted. Hello, apples. Apples think a lot today. Apples doesn't want to talk. Oh, you like a hazelnut? Yay! Apples, friend, give gift. Yeah. You want to be my friend? I assume so. I don't think we get any hay just now because our thing is full, yeah. I'm not going to chop it, no point. Nah. Mm -hmm. We might not get a full two stacks of wood, but we'll get plenty of wood. But this is so good, this area. I love it. It's great for forageables, especially early on in a game. We ended up just making most of our money first year just doing, going around here. And Ridgeside, but... There's another hazelnut. I'm going to go towards it, I think. I'm also going to drink an espresso, just, just so we can move a bit faster. Indeed. So what's everyone what's everyone's plans for today? What you guys thinking of doing? Got anything you're looking forward to doing? We're gonna chop as many trees as we can basically. Energy wise, because I think we could keep on chopping really. This forest is full. But really, it's more about the wood, because I may have used all of it for the tasks. Work until 5.30, then do laundry. Hmm. Sounds like fun. To be fair. I like me, because I'm a bit fun. Fine, just a long day. Mm, I can imagine. Bet you, you can't wait until he'll finish and up and then just... I'm done. I'm done for today. See, that's why I want an Iridium Axe, I think. I th that might be the next thing we go to upgrade with Clint. I do want to upgrade my tools like four 10 hour shifts oof at least it's just like four four days so you've got three days off sort of thing but 10 hour shift 
and get two stacks of wood. No, I'm starting to feel exhausted. It's okay. So close, but I'm not going to chop more. Because we've got nine energy, so... I don't know where my horse is as well. I know I came in with the horse. There it is. Hi, Zippy! Oh. On the plus side, I have Friday off, which is good because I'm going to a convention. Ooh, what convention are you going to? If you don't mind me asking. Up late, huh? I mean, it's not really that late. Like, ooh. Here, have a cold one. Okay. What? Why are we still... Why am I getting this cutscene? Isn't he supposed to be in therapy now? Or is it just because I got all the other ones before this one, basically, because I'm playing weird. You ever feel like, no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep, you can't even see the light of day. Jane, stop being... Mm. Mm. That sounds fun. I'm not really reading the dialogue. I can imagine, yeah. I thought we sorted him out. Like we, last stream we had the cutscene where he was passed out and we got him to Harvey because and he had to have his stomach pump. That said we got extra energy so we're gonna do that. So I'm just confused. Hmm. I guess, yeah. It just feels weird. Because literally the day after the cut scene, he's like, sorry about that. We're, he Harvey got me in touch with a therapist. I'm like, okay, cool. I guess, yeah. Two stacks of wood. Yeah. We did it. But hey, at least his drinking problem allowed me to get my goal of two stacks of wood. I guess that's a positive, if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> now, actually, hold on. While I'm here, I know. Um, I've got a few pine cones. We're going to... Plant this one, that one, and that one. And then I want to craft one fence. Uh, there was a redeem part. Now we've got two stacks of wood. Oh, no, no. Pop that back in here, thank you. Not gonna smell anything because we've got like no coal from the looks of it. Yep, we've used all our coal. Please. Uh, right, we've got these. I don't think common mushroom is part of it. I'm just gonna craft one life elixir so it counts as as crafted it, basically. For the purpose of Master Crafter or whatever it's called. I don't think I need it for any. Get rid of these. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it makes sense in a way, I guess. But it's just such a frustrating thing to see him do that after he said he's not going to do that. It's like, dude. I know apparently your life sucks, but just make a decision and stick to it. 
I know it's easier said than known, but... I wish I could help him, but... I don't think there is, really. That's probably the point, kind of realistic with... Yeah. And I like Shane. He's fun once you sort of... Ignore the rest of it. But it's like... Hey. I like you, but... He's a kitty. Is Claire somewhere out and about today, or is she not gonna come into town? There's some amaranth, but I'm gonna harvest it tomorrow for the purpose of just using it of it. Yeah, I mean it does make sense. I will say that, but it's just sort of sad seeing all that sort of bit being like. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I think I am going to get another barn because I wouldn't mind getting more like these made and whatnot. I think. My god. But 10 of that, I think I'm just going to sell it because at this point we're getting more milk than we're processing. And this is only profitable when you get 380 and this is 483 because that one is not. But I think when you put in a really quality milk and you get gold quality cheese and out, so it's like so minimal that it's not. Okay, blackberries are in season, so I do want to go around doing those. And what I'll do is I'll go and talk to Robin. Yeah, I have a stack of wood in here. I do have a stack of wood and some stone. I hope that's going to be enough. And then I think we are going to go in. This area is overgrown and needs to get sorted. I do want blue blackberries because we need like 24 of them for the actual recipes and other than picking them on the ground blackberry seeds and is the best point I completely forgot that this path existed around here I also love now that there's like these purple mushrooms are actually spawning out and about. No, let's not eat it. Uh, we're going to go in here. Really? Hi, Robin. Um, can you construct me a barn, please? Yes. Hmm. All right. I think this one will go in here, I think. I'm going to put it in here. Because then we've got a little path, I suppose. No problem. Thanks, Orin. There's our horse, and we're gonna go into the mine. The only annoying thing with this mod is that the mines moved all the way back here. Like, kind of like it, but it's kind of frustrating because. Especially at the very start, when you're still working for the community center. Right, how are we looking? Okay. Um, we're gonna go to 45, I'd say. Great start. It is bad luck day, but I was hoping we'll get at least a few sprites. I do actually need to kill them and whatnot.
Right, I'm gonna drink this actually. Oh, we move faster. Okay, we've got the ladder. I got one call so far. But yeah. My god, we are rolling in coal now, guys. All two bits. But no, I think part of the problem is it is on Lucky Day. Another thing is, it, like, I would go and buy it, but it's so pricey. Isn't I think it's like 250 isn't it? For a note of coal. I'm like, a bit pricey. Even that it's, like, coal. Although I, I guess I could put wood in to get it, like the charcoal kiln, that's what it's used for, but is it not like 10 pieces of wood or something for it? And 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal, yeah. And we would need to like sit there and wait sort of thing as well. Like we don't have automate. Which we could add, but the point is, like, at this rate, it's just easier to go around and break rocks and build dust sprites. Especially that once we get dust sprites, enough dust sprites. I like how I just walked over the ladder. Um, once we get dust sprites, we'll get the burglar ring once we get enough of them. And then we can add it into our plots and then we can get more bits out of it. Yeah, I'll also need to see about getting an Iridium Band crafted, I think, at this point. I think we're at a point where we can look at doing that. Oh, you're coming with me too. Also need to kill bats, so... We can basically slowly but surely work towards our monster eradication goals a bit. Like, the more difficult ones are the Skull Cavern ones, mostly because we'll just rely on luck more than anything else, but... I got some carrots! Yay! Yeah. That slime was angry. No. You did. A dwarf scroll again. Funnily enough, they drop not the one that they tend to drop. <laughs> Should be dropping, really. But I'm pretty sure the blue one is dropped by the guys around here because I, I remember it's like, oh, it's blue, so you get blue. I'm pretty sure, but well, not like we need them anymore. I don't think we do, do we? No, because we got the dwarf idea. There. Sometimes these rocks have coal too. I would love to get, but I don't see any. coming back yeah hello haha haha -ha. I got a yellow one too I 
got 16 coal, which isn't too bad. I mean, it could be better. But... It's okay, because once we do go for a little trip down Skull Caverns, it shouldn't be as bad. Should be able to get a few more, especially if we go on like a good day and just run for it sort of thing. Get the ruby. You can give it to the dwarf on the way out actually, because he loves them. Come here. There we go. I would like to get a napalm ring as well, actually. If I could get a napalm ring, a slime charmer, and a burglar ring, and then the iridium band, I think that would be a good setup because then we can get better chances for loot and whatnot. Slimes wouldn't hurt us. And enemies will explode on death. And get like the bonus stats from the Iridium Band, the glowing, the magnetism. I think it also increases your attack or something like that. Which is very handy in this game. But it's mostly for like the glow and whatnot. It's just that it's all in the one ring really. Right, this will be the last level of this, so it doesn't really matter. You know what, hold on. We're gonna go say hello to the dwarf because we never really talked to him before. Hello. Okay, so you sell all this, which is lovely. I need to buy a rare pro from you, actually. And you can have this. Oh, I didn't mean to buy the bomb. Oh. Gambo! Herb is one bunch of beans. Uh, let's try going to 45 again and seeing how this goes. Oh, it's empty again. I mean, there's a slime. I feel it. I need like a hundred something of them. I think once we've killed enough slimes, what we'll do is we'll maybe look at getting the slime hatch. Oh, we could look at building it just now and then work on getting the egg drops from the slimes as we kill them all the same. I will say, not getting as much coal as I would like, but this is difficult, isn't it? Though, because there's a long time in the game that you don't need it and then. You need it for everything. Got one bomb, so I'm gonna place it Ooh, right here. Nope, okay. I've got the way down. Question is, is there anything over this end? A slime. Oh well. Right. Let's see. Pokey catch. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, we're gonna work on getting coal at some point. Even more, to be fair, because we need a load of coal. extra winter proof. We die. We die too. We die. Wait. You die. You die. You die. You die. I just need to find a way down. I did hear bats, but there's no point in me waiting for them really at this point. Need 
two need to die. I'm sorry, but you need to perish. I don't see a way down. Fine time. Ooh, there it is. I feel bad killing all these dust sprites because they are cute. Getting like I think instead of riding back home on a horse, I'll just jump in the, the minecart because it's going to be so much quicker. The only other place that I can really think of in this mine is where the copper and stuff are because you've got those great rocks and they sometimes drop coal but I like how Marlin's just standing there but like Ooh. Do I go in? Do I not go in? Who knows? Oh, plum. There's a blackberry bush here. Yeah, because I didn't go around this way. I wouldn't. And you can get a ghost fish. You can have these. I think I need winter root and cave cat. I think I don't need any of these. Oh, I need common mushroom. Oops. Oh, well. Right. Gonna go into forage, I believe. There we go. And we're gonna do one more day and then we're gonna wrap up. Is I need to get some food. Huffle loves you. Oh, that's cute. Does that mean that we reach like full hearts with Huffle? Is that what it means? Because that never popped up on my thing. But that's cute. Our cat loves us, guys. Who needs a, a, a spouse when you've got a cat that tells you they love you? Right, okay. We've got mail. There's a Stardew Valley Fair in a week. Oh. Batteries. Um, right, geode. So you're a geode. Take this one. Hello. 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 Are you alright? I'm alright. Are you? Hi, everybody. Sorry to interrupt everyone's stream. I apologize again. It's all good. What's up? Uh, I'm going to cook, start cooking us some food. Okay. Um, do you want me to bring it through to you? No, because this will be the last day I'm working on, and then um, okay. I'll stop there. You had a good stream? I'm having fun, yeah! Hi everybody! Hello! But yeah, uh, look at my farm, do you like what I've done with the place? It's very good. Look at how nicely this is set up though. And we've got our food delivery coming. Hi yeah. Burbs! Hi! Also, Hi, did Green. you know, and did you not end up playing with Burbs? Or... We did play for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just. At one point, I saw Burbs just message me like, I need to head off now, and I'm like, okay. No, yeah, Burbs was playing with me for a bit. Okay. I'll and then you abandoned him. No, he had to go to a dorm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Amaranth. And also, Queenie Bee is saying hello to you. Hi, Ooh. Queenie Bee, hello. You may know me as Foxtrot on the chat, but hi. I'm Mar what did I just I'm Mar's boyfriend. Someone. You are. Oh. You're the silly boyfriend. Hi, Taco. <laughs> yeah, I'll cook us up. I'll start cooking up the dinner, and also the delivery is coming for well, next month. Okay, so someone's gonna buzz in the door in the yeah. moment. No, okay, cool. Well, that was meant time. to be a DM, not mod chat. Low. Ah, okay, <laughs> no worries. I was just a bit confused why it was going through, but I'm like, oh, I thought maybe Fox to hood you up or something. What I? What do you mean? But 
I heard you talking, but I wasn't sure if you were talking to Bob's or if it was like a phone call. Type I was. Thing. It was both. I was talking to my mother as well. My yeah. Mother was... See. Okay. Well, enjoy. Everyone enjoyed my stream. Tell her that you, <laughs> she's amazing and all that. I'm going to cook some food because that's my job. Apparently, yes. And I love you. I love you too. Say bye, everybody. Bye bye. Are you alright for food and drink? Food yeah, drink. I still got some drink and that will last me till the Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm going to put some spaghetti in. Okay. okay. Can you actually cook me spaghetti to the sauce? That's like what the I'm going to do. I'm going to cook you spaghetti. <gasps> yeah. I'll get to be slurping pasta. Alright, where's the coal? Where did I send the coal? In here. Where did I put it? Oh my god, I put this in the wrong chest and I thought we had zero coal. That said, we still have very little coal, but... He... He's lovely. He, he's like, have you had food yet? Very much. I'm wanting to make sure I've had something to eat. And I'm like, I'm not hungry. But he's making... Nice sauce, I think. I'll go and help him in a moment. I'm just gonna be with this stream. Like, I'm enjoying this game, and if it probably if it wasn't for the fact that I'm playing with the guys at six over on Fox's channel, which you by the way should definitely check out if you haven't already. Um, explanation point Fox. So. Um. He's a lot of a bean. He does a lot of random stuff game-wise. Like, at the moment, he's playing through Yakuza. I believe then his plan is to either do one of the Forza-type racing games or Breath of the Wild or... Is it City Skylines? I don't know. He, uh, he's all over the place. And we're playing Borderlands with him on there. And what else are we doing with him? Um, We're doing Power Wash tonight. But that's gonna be chill as hell, and you know it. Um, but yeah. Oh, I do need to go to the greenhouse. That's why I went there. Um, but he is a lovely bean, and very funny as well. He. <laughs> right. Let's see what we got here. Got ancient fruit. Oh, so much ancient fruit like genuinely we just don't have enough like processing units to actually process it which is why i'm selling a lot of it because as much as i want to keep on keep a stock of it because it takes a week for wine to be processed and a week for this to grow there's not really a point Once we do start making a lot more wine on the regular, we can look at getting it, but. And I was thinking of changing out the sprinklers, but I'm honestly happy with how it is, especially that we're going to have more greenhouses fairly soon, all the same. So it's like, I don't really need it. Right, common mushrooms I'm going to keep. This is all going to sell, I'm pretty sure. And then we're selling this, and what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to... There we go. Right, I need to get rid of the this, these two trees, though. They're, like, very much starting to go up the way. That one is fine. That one is going. And then... Oh my god, can you, like, hit it, please? There we go. I'm happy with how it is just now, because... It's like somewhat balanced, I guess. And what I'll do is I'll drop off the ancient fruit in the shed. Yeah, cause Ooh. yeah, because uh, we've got a hundred of that, and we've also got the coffee beans to deal with at some point. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to process. Um, 
I'm thinking we're gonna grab some iridium and fruit trees. And I've also done ancient fruit. I don't know if I take that off or what's going on with that, but and then and this goes in here. Perfect. We need pine tar picked up and we need to check on the community garden. I think because the things are growing, aren't they? And berries. Uh, right, and then this goes into forgeables. And what I'll do at some point, like um, after the stream, is I'll go through and make sure like all the forgeables are like updated and whatnot on the spreadsheet. It's gonna be easier. There's another batch of blueberries. I'll make sure we've got them up here. We do need to go to community garden because then we can get more cranberries go harvested and whatnot. Oh, we get a cutscene. Good afternoon, Miss Martima. One moment, please. What are you doing? The next batch of my signature pumpkin spice cider is almost ready. I make a few batches every year during the fall. There's nothing like sweet spice pumpkin with a cake to warm you up in the chilly weather. He, he could sell that sort of stuff as well. So, would you like to share a bottle with me, Martima? Sure. I'd love some. Follow me back here, Martima. I have a freshly made batch. Credit to Leah for the cover art on the bottles. Uh oh, I don't like it when we just go hide behind a building. Ew, harm oh, Martima, it has a sweet kick to it. I like how Lewis is just standing there. Here, spice pumpkin cider was delicious. We went through the entire bowl, so we're really drunk, are we? We are tipsy and our speed's reduced. Oh well. Good thing we've got a horse. So I can't really go there because I'm not going to be able to pass through. You know what I didn't grab? I didn't grab iridium. Oh well. Grab an egg, so. Like, it's not like a be your window type of thing, so I'm not too fast about it. Not one of them went into the water. Great. But we need a bunch of blueberry, blackberries, even. There's Gus. Oh, I like that they interact with this, though. It's there, and they actually do use it. Oh, look at that. Noise. The glorious noise. Look at that, so many cranberries. 264 cranberries. Now that's what I talk, I'm talking about. We've got loads of them. And we'll sell them all as well, because I'm not going to keep them just to process them at a later point somewhere farther down the line, because with me it's not going to happen, and it's just going to sit in the chest for forever. We're gonna sell it all. Like I said, we just don't have that processing power just yet. Like, how much is coal? I think it's been like two fifty for a fucking piece of coal. If that's the case, we're not gonna buy it. But if it's like fifty for a coal, well, I don't think it is. Like I said, I'm pretty sure coal is super expensive in this game, which I don't really understand. Cause like I know he's the only source of coal, really. But I mean. Yeah, 254 coal. Right. I'm good. Costs the same amount as an iron ore. It is it makes sense because you can make get a good chunk of them on the same bit. And I just realised that it's a good luck day and we didn't go into the mine. But we've done that actually. We're gonna go and grab the tar. And just see who's next. 
a quarry. Right, and no, uh, that, and then fruit trees and and fruit. I'm gonna mark as done as well. So hopefully I will like reset it because for some reason it's weirdly tracked. I wanted to go into town to get my horse. Here we go. But I think we're making good progress. Obviously, we're not like going super fast at it because a day is still a long. It is still twenty minutes. But we've done a fairly good chunk of it today. We've got a lot more money. I mean, it's all been spent, really, if we're being completely honest. I'm going to sell the pine tar to it. But we've organised our chests a little bit, our fridges, and I'll sort this out as well, make sure that... I mean, the hazelnuts will probably stay as they are, but we might need to get another forge fridge just for the purpose of having things sorted. There's a lot of forgeables, and because they're forgeables, they're all of different qualities. That looks nice. I like how this looks. It's like it's still like a nice shape, but there's a bit of like weirdness to it, and there's a little middle path. And then we've got the wine in the shed here that's currently sitting empty. It will get sorted at some point into producing something. It's just that it's too big for what I wanted in here, so. That's cool, right? Um, doing. What was I gonna do? I was gonna sort these out actually. Right, I'm gonna keep one chest. I don't know if there's any spare chests. I think I put them all in the shed. Um, basically, I'm gonna keep a chest for like obelisks, and that has where all the bits are gonna go. I think two or three obelisks need iridium bars, but that will be something that we'll get to at a later point, I think. Um, here. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I assume they're going to be outside then, because otherwise they would be. Are they in here maybe? There's a shipping bin. There it is. Right. Um I'm gonna put an obelisk chest. I'm gonna pop it in here, I think, because for now that will suffice, I think. I'm gonna make it purple. Should hopefully make it a bit more manageable with these chests as well, what's going in there. We've got nine of these, so we need one more of these. We need more clams. And then I don't think we need any of that stuff. So that goes in here. But we've also got coconuts. And we need cactus. Cacti. Or the desert one. We also need a bunch of bars. But that will be the obelisk chest. Do we need mess blooms? I don't think we do. I'm going to quickly check if we need that Highland Butterwort or... Uh, or... Nothing Highland on here. Including Highland Char, which is very weird. I'm just going to quickly check the actual recipes. And so. But find a. Uh, Chard. Okay, there is Highland Chard, so why is it not on the list? Oh, because I've got it as fishing. That's what it is. Alright, okay, so... It is. 
There we go. And that will need five of them. So we need that. That is, oh my god. That is a uh, fruits. Because I've got Highland Josephine, and for some reason, that's also a fish. I'm just double checking that all of it, the rest of it, is what it needs to be. Um, so we do need just a berries as well. Okay, cool. And then butter. There's butterfish, and I think that's all of it. So the butter work can be sold and the chart is going into here. Tell me. But that's the thing, because I created a spreadsheet, I know it's somewhere, it's just finding it. These two are gonna be sold. We need law. This is gonna go into the mill. This is gonna be just planted, so I'll put that. Uh Ruby's what do you mean? This goes in this bit, no, this bit. And then what I'll do is I'll put fibre in winter because there's not a lot that you can plant in winter, so go. So we've got the few fishing bits. Um not no, what's in here? Got some decoration stuff and whatnot. Oh, we've got cloth. We've got enough cloth. It's just that I keep placing it somewhere else. Uh, right. Okay. We've got cloth. Um. I've got that shipping bin, so I'll pop it in here. Decorations will go in a separate chest, I think. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Like, can I? I don't know if I can bin it. I'm not going to bin it, but... And this will be, like, the decoration chest. Like, all the, like, little fences and flowers and these sort of things. Like, basically anything that I use to do around the farm to make it pretty. That's where it's going. And then I've got speed grow, so that's going to get sorted. This goes in the... I need it for cooking as well, but I'll put it in the a, a fish chest in the shed. This goes... Okay, that's cool. Feed grow goes in here. Oh, spring seeds go in the shed as well. Mix seeds even. Very Yes, they are. Oh, they goes put it in. So, fair chest can go in here. Because I'll know that that's where all the spare random stuff that i don't have a use for is and then this is essentially our like usable items that we're going to use at some point what or something and this is like our decorations and then we've got all the gifts and whatnot right um I might put the gifts in the shed as well. Maybe. No, because I think this one's easier actually in the house. So we're going to move it into the house. You can put... Also, I want to like organise the place of the house as well. This will be maroon. Why not? And then we've got a bunch of tulips. I don't think we need that many because... Evelyn also likes diamonds, so I'll do that. I'll keep these ones because they're good in terms of boosting extra heart. Um, strawberries, really, we just need for Mara and whatnot. And we'll keep the cake. We've got the cactus. And that's cool. We can sell that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. And then this is just the, the mine stuff. And again, I'm thinking... 
going to pop it in here. Um, I think it's just going to be easier to drop it all off sort of thing. Right, how is our food looking? Because food-wise, what we can do is just keep spicy eel in here because we've got enough rubies to start trading it in. And we can get a few crystallariums made at this point as well, just to keep on rubies and jades multiply keep on multiplying. So I think these ones I'm just gonna move out. Like this is speed and fence, this is fishing, this is fishing and luck, so we don't need those at all. This is warp totems. I'm happy to keep this one in. This is an island one. I need a desert one, so I'm happy to get rid of that one. Put it into here if we do decide that we want to warp in the island. And um, got geodes. And we'll put that in here as well. Because that's generally going to be where we drop off our tools or something if we need to. So there we go. And we're going to go and make. I should have enough to make like three, four crystallariums, I think. Make three, yeah. It's the gold bar. Again, that's wasn't it. That's fine. I don't want it here. We want it like so. And then... Yeah, because we don't have a lot of rubies, but we can make more rubies. So now, I think rubies take a day to or so to make, so... And then... Yeah! That should be fine. And then I've got these, which I'm going to sell because carrots aren't used for anything. And I've got enough salad berries. And this is decoration. So I'm going to make it this color because I like it. And this is like all the like bits that we need. So we make it bright red. There we go. I like it. And I like that it's on either side. So it's a bit more like pretty. I like our little farm. It's, it's starting to look like a organized mess. And then what we'll do is, I don't know what we'll do here. I might put like some grass or something. Only thing is, in winter it goes away. Or we might put like some of those fake decorations here and put like some bushes and whatnot. Because we've got a few of them here, don't we? We've got some shrubs and whatnot. We can make bigger, get bigger shrubs as well because that's an option. This is our farm for now. I like it and I like this layout and I think it's what's going to be kept because I'm all for like maximizing the amount of crops we can put in but I also like if it's pretty and I think this is nice. Like obviously we've got the same thing going on here, we've got the same thing going on here and it's this sort that's all different but and we've got the trellis crops so we literally have space for trellis crops every single year. Because that's, like, it's so nice. I like that we can ho hold the... Oh. So I did not mean to do that. Um, I'm going to put a, that. Can I put a spree ball on it? Because so, it's at least 25%. So I'm thinking, yeah, there we go. Now it's all going to grow together. Perfect. I accidentally got rid of a yam. But I like it. Starting to become a farm and like a little cute farm as well. I think next time around we'll sort of start working on getting our house a bit more organized and whatnot, all the furniture and whatnot. And maybe I'll see about getting a, a spice or at least going towards it. Because I don't know who we want. That's my main thing. Like, um, let's see. Faye is locked, but we could go with Faye, to be fair. Or, or, I don't know. Part of me wants to go with Floor as well, but... I think all the, like, normal NPCs... I know we said we're going to go for Leah, but I might get back the standard NPCs as singles and maybe go for one that either came with red side or expanded. 
I think that would be fun. Okay, maybe we'll go for floor. We'll go for one of them. I think. We could also go for Zane. But he's part of the snobby family. Although he doesn't seem as bad. Or Sophia, she's cute. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go for one of the modded NPCs rather than the standard ones, I think. But yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll... I will be wrapping up just now because it is half five already. I didn't realise that this is how late it's going. But um, it is. Let's see... yeah um but yeah i'm gonna wrap up there um like i say in about 30 ish minutes or so fox is gonna be on and we're gonna be doing power wash i believe um yeah and if not power wash i'm sure he's gonna drag us into doing borderlands at which point i'll also go live but i don't think that's gonna happen i, I think it's gonna be power wash so we'll see um but yeah um Thank you all for stopping by hope you had a lovely time i'm going to be back on tomorrow at some point i do have an interview early on in the day so we'll see how that goes but i should still be live during the day and it will be posted in my discord as i go live because i've got a lovely bot that does that for me otherwise i would forget and uh, so you're welcome to jump in um there's not a lot going on in the discord normally speaking it's fairly quiet as well so don't need to worry about getting spammed yeah thanks for hanging out and i'll see you all later bye bye